to do inside Make it a way down to the right Here comes another fucking fire Here comes the helpless monster Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Hello? Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Happy Tuesday to you all. It's time again. The weeks start coming and they do not stop coming, do they? Yeah. Do they? It's Tuesday night and you know what that means. You do know what triple that means. Triple Jump is coming to you live from the sold out Triple Jump live. Walrus Arena in Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Hi Ben. Hello. How are you? I'm alright. How was your weekend? So happy to see you. Just wanted to say that I've been feeling much better than I was last week. Also, I'm still buying you that AEW shirt. Hopefully a Dan Housen one, from the show I'm going to next week. Excellent, Hope you're thank well. you. Big love to you, my dude. Thank you're you so much, Stephen. Good to hear from you. Appreciate the blips. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me. Good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. We don't have much time left. Because we've got this stream, we've got next week's stream, and then it's Elden Ring. So we kind of need to... I don't know where, where we're up to, let me just have a look. Uh, oh, it doesn't say. I thought it was going to tell me what, what calendar month we were in. But basically we need to get through to WrestleMania, Pistolmania, in the next two streams. Wrap this series up and get ready to move on. Because we are running out of road here. We are running out of road. PJ, the average gamer, thank you for the resub. 18 months. I don't get to watch the live streams very often, but I watch the VODs whenever I can. Thanks for keeping us all entertained. You're very welcome. Thank you for your resub. Really appreciate it. Uh, Cameron Keywood, eight months. You looking forward to the roster reveal for 2K22 tonight? I didn't even know it was happening. I won't be watching live, but I will be uh, checking out the information tomorrow. I'm sure cultaholic.com will have all the details, I would, I would imagine. Boy yeah. Wizard, thank you for the reset. Four months. Hilarious buds, BB, and the eyes of my beautiful Danny. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning to take my girlfriend and her mum to the airport so my they wife. could go to Iceland on holiday without me. Hope Tired not. boy now. Oh, Plus, no. I let the Gimips win the big one for me tonight. They went on holiday without you. But Sorry to hear that. Thank you for the blips, though. Uh, Boy Wizard, four months. Whoop, four months. Ben Kirkwood, thank you for the resub. 24 months. What are your thoughts on the Cody AEW news? It's crazy and very exciting. I'll get to that in a minute. We'll talk about that shortly. Thank you for your resub, though. 
Uh, we've also got Steven, thank you for gifting us up to Richard C. Normus. Welcome to the Warriors Clan, Richard C. Normus. Uh, McPeety, thank you for the resub 10 months. Hey, Ben and Assorted Walry, haven't caught a stream for months as it's been a rough few months, but hopefully catch more often. You know, since I'm paying you and everything. Well, I hope you're feeling a little better now. Thank you for coming along. Hope to see you around a bit more. Martial Arts Film Freak, thank you for the subscribe. Welcome to the Warriors Clan. Pleasure to have you among us. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. To clarify, they booked this holiday before I'd even met her. Okay. I just wanted it to sound sadder for me than it was. It really did sound very sad, Board Steve, but uh, I'm glad you're here, even though you're knackered. Thank you for coming. GY Goliath, thank you for gifting three subs to the community. Welcome, Kevin Gamera, L0 Key, and Riot Codes to the Warriors Clan. Thank you, GY Goliath, for gifting those subs. Demented Space, thank you for your resub. 12 months, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, yeah. For those unfamiliar, Cody Rhodes left WWE, went all over the place, and then helped found AEW, and today he's announced that he is leaving AEW. Uh, there's a lot of people saying that it's it's fake. It's not real. It's, it's, a, it's a work. It's a storyline. But I suppose we'll see. If he's in Saudi Arabia with WWE at the weekend, we will know for sure one way or the other, but it's kind of bonkers, isn't it? Kind of bonkers. Pup George, thank you for the resub. Three months. Triple sub. Yes. Triple sub. That's what I'm talking about. Get that triple sub. Yeah. Babs is going to Pistol Mania and winning all the belts. She's Every got two single of them. one of them. Oh, so hyped for the Elden Ring streams. Me too. Elden Ring is not far away. For, for Horizon Forbidden Who? Elden Ring, thank you very much. That's all I'll be playing. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen, for the blips. Howdy, Ben. Emma Plushy Babs. Lord Brotovia and the other friends. Ready to watch the Peace Elimination Chamber with some chicken soup. Oh, it Dick does salute. pair very well with chicken soup. Thank you, Forgotten Media, for the blips. Yeah, it is, uh, it yeah. is the Piss Elimination Chamber coming Forgot right now. Forgot to mention, loved Christmas Tat. Had to watch it in four installments, but I still loved it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, McPeety. A lot of you have watched it. Even more, of, well, not even more of you contributed, because then we'd have had thousands of things sent, and that would have been absurd. Yeah. But uh, glad you liked it. First time I've got to catch a very live stream in a long time, but I'm starting a new job on Monday after five years of night shift, so I'll be able to catch all of the streams from now on. One of the babs and the gambling. Remember, never gamble what you don't have. Never gamble cheer what you don't have. Cheer 100, cheer 100, cheer 100, cheer 100. You only gamble with what you have and also these channel points because they are worthless and you can't take them anywhere else, so it's fine to gamble them here. Potato Shack 99, congratulations on the new job, the switch from the night shift, and uh, very much looking forward to seeing you in more streams. Thank you for yeah. the generous amount of blips there. Very kind. Uncharted film coming in hot with a 54% Rotten Tomatoes rating. Yeah. Can't help but think it would have gotten higher if they had cast Nathan Cake instead. Oh, Nathan the Lion Cake. faces north. The Lion always faces north. Thank you, N. Barlam. Uh, a few of us are going to go watch it at the beginning of next week. I, it's not going to be good. I know it's not good, but it should be. It should be a laugh, right? I wouldn't be interested if it wasn't Uncharted. It's just a bog standard. Uh, action adventure movie isn't it that's that's kind of all there is to it right now i ended the stream prematurely last time because there was a little bit yeah. extra that played out extra bits so i'll put that I'm on in a sec good today despite having a minor cold let's get hyped my dudes i wish good you to see you as always ben. Caps, you know also awesome tat thank you Stephen. thank you very much for the extra blips i appreciate it yeah the tattoo's healing nicely it's still yeah. a little crispy Wrestling. but it's getting there Rasslin, double L loser, exactly. Rasslin. So here is what happened last time after the stream went off the air. Remember, Babs isn't. Where's the mouse cursor gone? Babs is in an unholy alliance with Vince Mc. Mouse, with with Vince McMahon. Hello, with Vince McMahon. There we go. Here we are. Let's let's give it a read. Well, the elimination chamber match is coming up soon. It will be a grueling contest, but I know you're going to come out on top. Because the woman I see is the great Xbox's own Babs. All right, so let's go out to dinner. Again, the dialogue is top notch in these games. Tonight, we'll have a pre-celebration for your victory at Survivor Series. I know how to show my superstars a good time. 
sounds a bit threatening, doesn't it? Anyway, there we are. That was it. That was the little additional bit that we uh, that we didn't get to see last week. So I think Barbara has Barbara has stated that she wants to personally make every single person in this match tap out because no one deserves her World Heavyweight Championship. So we'll see if she's able to do that. She's going to win for sure. Joan Perm, welcome to the stream. Thrilled to have you here. Thank you for coming along. Was Vince hitting on you? I don't know. Vince hits on everyone. I mean, he's inappropriate almost all the time and always has been. So who's to say, really? The bad writing uh, doesn't make it any clearer. Stephen, thank you for gifting us up to Joan Perm. Welcome, Joan Perm. The walrus clan. Welcome. Enjoy those uh, emotes you've got access to now. Courtesy of Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Right, we're going to hop in now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yes. It was Valentine's Day yesterday. Barbara thinks it's today. So don't you dare correct her because she's had a slight name change and she's got a whole new outfit. She's really excited about it. So let's not... Don't burst her bubble, okay? Don't ruin it for her. Don't be a, don't be a dingle. Don't be a dinghole, okay? Let's not be dingholes. And now let's unmute the game and immediately get copyright struck on YouTube for the VOD, which happens every single week. Not with this music, though. This is fine. This is an original song. This is an original song. We're all right with this one. This is the pay-per-view music. Okay. Here we bloody go. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Hello? <laughs> Two opposing forces in one ring. Their future hangs in the balance. Meeting me was your worst nightmare. A blow with a huge dose of hatred. Oh, it's, it's Bumpus. A glimpse of madness in Brian's eyes. A single ticket straight to hell. A matchup for the ages. Everything is on the line. Who will reign supreme? Who will reign supreme? Remember, if you go to triplejumpshop.com right now, you buy yourself a limited edition Kiss Me Iron Barbara mint tin, as in it contains breath mints. They're actually in there. Got some breath. I don't know what the breath mints are. Like, I don't know what their nutritional value is. You can go get them right now. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay. Well, we do have one of our custom matches up first. Dave Benson Phillips taking on Pachiti Dust in a singles match, so you will be able to predict the outcome shortly. Look up for that. Uh, we don't care about the tag championships because none of our guys are in there. And then in the World Heavyweight Championship, Piss Elimination Chamber, Steven Seagull, Billy Ray Cyrus, John Cena, Brian Bumpiss, Ashton Matthews, and World Heavyweight Champion, Barbara Piss. Uh, well, actually, Ben, yesterday was actually my cat's birthday, which is a way more, which is way more important. So we've made today Valentine's instead. So Babs is right. Good. Well, there we are. See. So Ben, you're planning to give Babs the original CM Punk December to Dismember booking back in 2006. Paul Heyman uh, booked, I assume, yeah. CM Punk to win the Extreme the Elimination jump Chamber. Sports time jacket on for the stream because it is very comfortable and it is indeed sports entertainment time. It is. Thank you, Stephen. You can also buy. A, oh yeah, here we go, sports time jacket. It's good, I have it at my desk. Should go and buy one. Uh, CM Punk bu uh, was booked to win the Extreme Elimination Chamber by having everyone tap out to the Anaconda Vice. That would have been amazing. Would have liked that. That would have been cool. Right. Have we got the first predictions up? I think we do. Let's check out these titans of sports entertainment. Big David there on screen. Predictions. Yes. And turn on the predictions tab if I can find it. Bam. There we go. Here they come. Get those predictions in. Pachiti Dust or Dave Benson Phillips. The Seagull Destroyer. Dave Benson Phillips makes his way to the ring. Hurry up though, Dave. We haven't got long. We're in November. We need to get to April. Which means we've done quick maths. Seven months. And we have even faster maths. Four months remaining. So let's crack on. Here comes Pachiti Dust. He is gonna... This also gets copyright struck, actually, a lot of t a lot of the time in the VOD. So there he is. We've all seen him. He looks just like Adam Pachiti and uh, 
gold dust, so we're just going to skip that now. Pro damage is probably already done. No getting around that. We'll, we'll, we'll just roll with it, I suppose. Oh, it's going back and forth. You've got 30 more seconds to get those channel points locked in. We're currently wagering about 130 Ks worth of channel points, which again is, is a meaningless figure because they don't mean anything. Is the game a bit loud or is it all right? Anyway, these two are absolutely uh, absolute titans of the wrestling sphere. They're going at it right now. One's uh, uh, Pachita Dust, he's big and gold. And uh, Dave Benson Phillips is the one in the tie-dye. Sounds fine. Okay, good. Doo -doo 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 Dave Benson Phillips leveling Pachiti Dust with that big right hand yeah. drags him back to his feet. Hello, Ben and friends. Hello. Sorry I'm late. How dare you? Did I miss anything? Not a thing, Mr. Black. Just a brief recap of what happened uh, last week that we missed because I ended the stream too soon. Basically, Vince McMahon saying, hey, Barbara, you better go win this thing next week. And also, I'm going to take you out to dinner. I know how to show you a good time. It's a bit scary. Submissions are now closed. Only 29% of you backing the Seagull Destroyer, Dave Benson Phillips. Look at him dropping that huge wing and then just showing off his strength and conditioning. What a stud. GT Dust doesn't really yet have an answer to Dave Benson Phillips, who, lest we forget, and I forgot, I had to go check his stats earlier when I was getting stuff set. I mean, when Barbara was getting her outfit changed. Uh, he has a very high submission stat rating. So if he can lock in that Steiner recliner on Pachiti Dust and does a fair bit of damage first, which he, he is all over Pachiti Dust so far, then look at that, the Tilt-A-World Sidewalk Slam. Pachiti Dust already got their yellow tum-tum. Not looking good for Pachiti Dust so far. Especially, as I said, if he earns his finisher, he's going to get that Steiner recliner and then Pachiti Dust is in real trouble. Is Dave's finisher the Cheeky Nando's? I know you like to ask him. Pachiti Dust now, his body in the top right matching his body in real life, slowly collecting golden yellow parts. Now Pachiti Dust starting to roll. He's working towards his finisher a lot faster than Dave Benson Phillips, but Dave able to counter. And he's right back on the offensive. No, Dave dumped outside by Pachiti Dust. It looked like Dave, but Pachiti Dust really making a meal of getting out of the ring. And these two are just sort of going to change places now. Here they go. The right hand from Dave Benson Phillips. The counter from Pachiti Dust. That really hurt Dave Benson Phillips. Both men now have a finisher. Dave, though, the power slam. Again, more of that power on show from Dave Benson Phillips, who is going to go for his finisher now. He's got him right in the center of the ring. This is not a place Pachiti Dust wants to be. The submission is locked in. Try to ignore the fact that this looks extremely sexual as Dave goes to work on the lower back of Pachiti Dust, but it wasn't enough. He is going to go for the cover, though. Pachiti Dust powering out at one. Dave infuriated by that. You see Pachiti Dust's back has now gone to sort of an orange colour, and it looks like we're going to get the Jinkle Jam. Oh, goodness me, it never gets any easier to look at. And off the Jinkle Jam, Pachiti Dust is going to slither into the cover there. Is it enough? Oh. Dave. Dave had, had his eggs scrambled there. But he's still going to drop the big seagull wing. The cheeky Nando elbow drop, there it is. And again, the conditioning on display from Dave Benson Phillips. You cannot dispute that. The man is in shape. Look at him. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks, this is what beak performance looks like. Another bird pun for you. Oh my God, the height. Pachiti Dust nearly flew out of the roof of the arena. Elbow dropped by Dave Benson Phillips again. And Valentine's was yesterday, no looting today. Where's the thing? Barbara thinks Valentine's Day is today, okay? So we all just got, we just got to pretend it's today. Rude Strife, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Walrus Clan. Thanks for coming along. Oh, the counter from Dave. No, the counter, counter from Pachiti Dust. I beg your pardon. Right hands. Pachiti Dust now. Oh, look at that. The gut wrench suplex. Both men. Not in uh, peak condition now, powered out by Dave. One. 
Training blows there. Referee catches one, but he's okay. Into the Boston Crab, but Pachiti Dust has absolutely no submission ability whatsoever. He is nearly at his finisher, though. Can't really see what's going on. Referee is in the way. Pachiti Dust going for a second jinkle jam. It looked so promising for Dave Benson Phillips, but I don't know how he's going to stand up after that one. A second jinkle jam right in his jam hole. Pachiti Dust into the cover, and that has got to be it. Thank you for coming, Dave Benson Phillips. Ooh wee. 71% of you backed Pachiti Dust in that bout. Congratulations, commiserations to Dave Benson Phillips, who put up a great show there. What? Put up a great show? That doesn't. Did I just unplug myself? Hello? <laughs> put up a great show? What does that mean, Ben? Shut up. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's not surprising, is it? Okay, main event time. Let's flip and go. I don't know if entrances are on. So you might have to wait until next week to see Barbara's fantastic new attire. But she does at the very least have a new in-ring attire as well, ever so slightly different. Here goes. Barbara's going to tap everyone out now. Horns. Yeah, we're right in there. Steven Seagull takes on John Cena. You can see there in the top right, former WWE champion Billy Ray Cyrus's gigantic cement-filled jeans. He's got to be proud of his daughter, who is currently the women's champion. Is she still the women's champion? Yes. Ivy unsuccessfully challenged for it last week, didn't she? Yeah. She sort of stares at him Do now. a sparkle splash off a pod or else I'll be upset. Bald Steve, it never works. It never, it's just too high. Uh-oh. John's going to do something foolish, Jonathan. Steven Seagull taking full advantage there. Are those legs? You'll notice uh, Barbara's name has changed from Xbox's own Babs. Again, keeping in, uh, in keeping, sorry, with the Valentine's Day theme. She is now Bay, Bay, Bay Piss today. Bay Bra Piss. Thanks for the blips though, Bored Steve. Tell you what, if it's looking good for, for Bay Bra, there for Beyblade, then yes, we will, we will do one pod fail. One pod slam. Who's coming in? It's former champion Billy Ray Cyrus. He has been hungry for the gold ever since he lost it. Don't let him kick you. He's got cement in those gigantic jeans. Do not trust the drop kick. Taking out John Cena. And now, all oh, the kicks. The repeated kicks to the back of Steven Seagull. His vertebrae have to be shattered. And John just says, yeah, I'll have a go as well. Look at that, Stephen with the yellow back there, of course. Because he just he just got kicked with cement legs. John Cena showing off his power. The delayed vertical suplex. Stephen yeah. and John renew hostilities now. Is everyone to be. That is fact. It is. Everybody's gay for Barbara. How could you not be? Stephen uh, Seagull just getting absolutely victimized currently by these other two competitors. But it's time for another entrant. Who is it? It's Ashton Matthews, here she comes. Ashton perhaps posing the biggest threat, ooh, out of anyone, to Barbara's reign in this match. Ashton has held gold before, multiple times, in this company. Steven Seagull, not in good shape right now. It's good that Ashton's squared off with John Cena, because these two are, are sort of more evenly matched than everybody else in this uh, piss elimination chamber. Barbara's got to tap everyone out though. That's what she said. That's what she said she wanted to do. Oh, it's some sort of slam thing. It's an early John Cena finisher and into the cover. Ashton is not gonna go down that easy. Are you joking? Seven seconds left, who's coming in? Brian Bumpiss or the reigning champion, Babra Piss. Oh dear, Billy's doing something stupid. It's Barbara Pierce, in she comes. Brand new outfit. New Barbara, who dis? She's just gonna sort of wait out here for a minute. 
She's wearing the, it's almost like a Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn, sorry, I should pronounce that correctly, inspired attire here. But it is faintly Valentine's Day themed. Billy, put him down. Right, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to try and tap some people out. First victim. Barbara locks it in. Locks in the choke. It's a little way to go before he taps out, but we're going to do most of the damage. Oh, the jackknife powerbomb from Billy Ray Cyrus. And out taps. Steven Seagull, the first victim. John, no, this isn't about you right now. Billy Ray Cyrus dropping the elbow. I don't know why I'm continuing to commentate while, while I do this. Billy Ray Cyrus. Hey, hey. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, don't you do that. I was busy playing with Billy. Right, give me, I would, I would like Billy back, please. I would like Billy back, please. May I have my, okay, a tag team offense. Oh, look at that, John. John and Barbara working together. And now Barbara goes for her second victim. And it's just too easy, isn't it? Out taps Billy Ray Cyrus. Barbara has tapped out two out of uh, five so far. John, come here. Oh, Ashton's about to hit her finisher. She can't be allowed to pin. Brian's not going down that easy, is he? Barbara's not risking it. Barbara's not risking it. John, John. Bud, what are you doing, mate? Uh, Barbara locks in. The sleeper hold again. And I wonder if Big Match John is going to tap out to Barbara. Big Match John has tapped out to Barbara. And now, she, Barbara can just sort of enjoy the show while she does a few taunts on the outside. Hey, John, you good? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes, look. Bump his nose. Bumpus, no. Bumpus, no. Hey, Ashton, you want to... Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Ashton, would you like to play? Ashton, that's not... That's not nice. That is so rude. Right. Time for Bumpus to go to sleep. Time for Bumpus to go to sleep. Bumpus go to sleep. Bumpus go to sleep. Ashton can only watch on in horror as Bumpus goes to sleep. Thank you and good night, Bumpus. And now there were two. And then there were two even. It's Matthews and Piss for the World Heavyweight Championship once again. A, a tale as old as time. May I? Yes, there we are. Surely it's elementary at this point. Barbara steals Ashton's finisher just to be a massive dingle. Is she going to give us the piss Rooney? Yes, she is. There she goes. It's magnificent. Can Barbara hit the sparkle splash? It is not going to work, I promise. That wasn't even the right one, but she still fell on her ass. Oh, and that is not nice, is it? That's just insult to injury. Sounds like someone needs to have their jinkles jammed, quite frankly. Quite frankly. That's a jink jinkle jammable offense. Oh. Hey. Ashton, we're kind of doing a thing here. Can you not? Wow, she's really, she's really taunt happy today. Normally she doesn't, she doesn't do that. Excuse me, there we are. Right, piss warm stunner. And it's going to end the way that Barbara predicted it would. With the final submission, Barbara has successfully submitted every single opponent in the piss elimination chamber. Who can stop her? Who can Ooh, stop her? Not a single one. Unstoppable. Rich M. Waters, thank you for the resub. 21 months. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Wrestles time. Wait, what, what do you mean I have to keep working? Dang it. Guess I'll catch you on the VOD. Do me proud, Babs. She just did, Rich. Hope work goes well for you. Thank you so much. Peace, peace. Picks up the impressive victory. She is the only survivor in this chamber of mass punishment. It was indeed a steel hell. What a match. There were no friends or allies in this match. 
after this, oh my god, writers, after this match, everyone who was in that ring is considered a prolific superstar in my book. That was hard work to read, wasn't it? Peace, peace. Oh, was there another prediction that I missed? Oh, okay. Yeah, there we are. Will there be a successful sparkle splash from the chamber? No. Correct. Didn't even see that one. She tried to go for it and didn't even do the right move. Still eight canvas, though. <sighs> Unstoppable. She is holding on to this all the way through Pistol Mania and beyond. Now let's forge ahead. I hope my best friend Vince McMahon will be thrilled with that. Best friend. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. We've had a lot of things happen recently in the WWE, but that is all behind us now. We've already taken the next step towards the new year. So, I want to make some changes and straighten things out. First of all, the, the title belt is for superstars who are real championship material. He better not just flip-flop for no reason. Which means, peace, peace. You are not champion. This makes no sense, game. This makes no sense. Peace, peace, you are not championship material. What an insult. It's almost Christmas, JR. What a Grinch. All of you shut the hell up. So then allow me to introduce to you a true champion. Come on out. Oh, no. It's Bubba. What happened between them? Peace, peace, you heard what he said. I am going to challenge for your title. You should be honored. Bubba has decided to cooperate with Mr. Mc... That was us. That was us literally last night. We were, we're mates and we won the whole... I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. With the title on the line, this match is going to be, a hu is going to be huge to round off this year. I was so excited to see a new sort of variant of a storyline, you know? And then, it, and then it does that. It doesn't even matter. Hello? It's time for the highly anticipated Diva Beauty Contest. This is the true highlight of my career, baby. Peace Peace will be tonight's judge. There she is. All right, I think that's enough talking. Let's see some action, starting with Emma. Woo, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Work it, Emma. God, look at him. He's a ghoul. I was about to pass out there. Okay, okay, now it's time for our next lovely contestant. Jo you like Jones? Woo, I'd do anything to get my hands on that. JR, I can't take this any longer. This is a close contest. All right, let's let Peace Peace decide who the winner is. King, I think you're forgetting you're on the payroll right now. So Peace Peace, who do you think the winner is tonight? I mean, come on. It's this one. It's this one, clearly. The winner is the lovely Emma. Emma, here's your trophy from myself, the King. Thanks a lot, King. This really means a lot to me. Let's get another round of applause for our winner, Emma. Oh my God, don't show, I don't want to look at him. That was one slobber knocker, folks, and thanks for joining us, peace, peace. Wow, what a night. What a crazy night. Congratulations, Emma, that was huge. Well done. I knew you had it in you. Speaking of which, Emma Jungle Skog undefeated on Triple Jump so far. She challenges the wife right now. <sighs> Emma, Emma, she's our bear. Do -ba 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 -ba. Emma sounds a lot like our dog Barbara did. Yes, with Emma. All stand for the small wife. Here she comes. Mm -mm, tiny small wife, do do shiny wife, do do shiny wife. I would imagine that Sparkle's probably not too thrilled 
that we chose her opponent tonight as the winner of the beauty contest, but there we are. Uh, I don't think this is going to go well for Small Wife. It's entirely possible. Here she comes. Beauty contest winner, the bear, Emma Jungle Skog. Go on, Emma. Get it done. Bring it home. Bring it home. Although I would also like it if the Small Wife won, obviously. But Small Wife doesn't have a great singles record. There's a lot of powerful women in the triple jump women's division. So there we are. I love Small Wife, but she's not going to do well here, is she? One day, my fiancé will leave me for Sparkles, and I can't blame him. Who can we blow? Oh, I mean, Sparkles off to a strong start so far. Emma, the much more powerful competitor, but Sparkles presumably a lot faster. Look at that, the counter, the big boot, the big paw from Sparkles' pit. And again, Sparkles ducks underneath. Oh, she doesn't duck that one, though. A meaty paw right across the mush from Emma Jungle's cog to Sparkles, but Sparkles is countering all over the shot. Emma, though, with comparatively little offense so far, has really flown up towards her first finisher. So it could well be that even though Emma lands less offense, she's able to hit harder and get that finisher sooner. Oh, the Hurricanrana, beautiful from Sparkles' piss, and Emma is hurt already. We have not seen anybody take it to Emma like this so far. Not a single person. Sparkles has her finisher already and sends Emma flying out of the ring. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Genuinely can't believe it, the leg drop. Sparkles had to really think about that. Emma plushie in the shop when? Well, if you go to Ikea, you can get your own Emma plushie. It's true, they sell them everywhere. Oh, the piss warm stunner from Sparkles Piss levels the bear. I am absolutely in awe at what I'm seeing right now. I can't believe it. Emma has powered out, though. And now Emma really needs to go on the offense. Look, you can see the power game coming into play there. She really does just need to get some offense in. Oh, on Sparkles. And just like that, she's turned it around. And Sparkles around, too, for that matter. Into the Boston Crab. Emma does have her finisher. Oh, boy. It looks like she's about to go for a ride. Up goes Sparkles. I would imagine Sparkles is going to come out of this finisher a lot worse for wear than Emma did. Oh, the jackknife powerbomb. Sparkles lands on her neck. Can Sparkles power out? Oh, just. And this match continues. Although Emma is rolling. Nearly got to a second finisher already. Sparkles had no answer for that. It's another rope break there. The elbow drop misses, and now Sparkles gets to take advantage. The bulldog dropping the bear, the bear dog, really. The forearms, the counter from Emma. Sparkles ducks under. More forearms, a kick. The forearm from Emma. Emma punches, Emma punches. Emma, oh, the clubbing blow to the back of the head. Sends Sparkles to the canvas. Sparkles, though, with a counter. She cannot let Emma, Emma hit, sorry, Emma hit that finisher. This is... The closest match, I think. Emma's been in so far. The big slap, though. She walks right into it from Sparkles. And uh-oh, it's all over. It is all over. A, an extremely game effort from Sparkles here tonight. But no one is kicking out of a second bare bottom. As chat has christened it. And that is all she wrote. It really looked like Sparkles was going to do it. I think if she'd avoided that second finisher, she may well have done. Because remember, nobody kicks out of the Sparkle Splash. No one. Main event time. Barbara Piss, Babra, sorry, Babra Piss, teaming with Ashton Matthews to take on Bubba Ray Dudley and for some reason not his brother, Sean O'Hare. Here we go. Yeah. Love is dead and so is Sparkles. Don't tell Beebs. Beebs. Don't tell Beebs. Sure know him. Thank you, Board Steve, for the blips there. Sparkles is okay. Sparkles will be okay. That was an impressive performance from Sparkles. Couldn't believe. Couldn't believe what we were seeing. That's a new side of Sparkles. We've not seen that before. Perfectly countering Emma's sort of more lumbering offense. The speed of Sparkles. No, 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 Matthews. 
da 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 Ashton, da 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 Matthews. Can you dig it, Ashton? Here we go, new outfit time. Babra, peace, peace. Just in time for Valentine's Day, which, lest we forget, is today. It is Valentine's Day today. Today. Here she comes for Valentine's Day. Uh, did somebody say hat? Did somebody say hat? Oh no. Her name is Beba. That's not right. Her name is not Beba Piss. I need to, maybe need to spell that correctly. World Heavyweight Champion Beba Piss making her way to the ring. Beautiful. You probably won't see it during the match, but she has a little uh, keys keys on the back of her new trunks as well. When is Emma facing Hannah? Great question. Great question. I don't know. Baybar, a distant cousin of Baba, the elephant, of course. Now, what you have to bear in mind here, what you have to Baybar in mind here is that Baybar doesn't need Ashton's help and can uh, soundly beat Bubba Ray Dudley in a tag match, which I think we'd all like to see, given the fact that uh, Bubba Ray Dudley has kind of been the Triple H of the tag team division so far. Oh my God, okay, we're doing this already. Can you imagine though? Can you imagine though? Can you imagine if he just tapped out immediately? That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be amazing? It's not gonna happen, but we can really hurt him. We can really just, just end this in record time. A little bit of Monica for you, bud. doing showing off that strength just hoisting the big boy around ain't nobody's business but baybar's business welcome to the baybar zone piss warm stunner just gonna that's not what i'm gonna do that's not what i'm gonna do either can i just yeah i thought so i'm just gonna we're just gonna drag him over here right in front of his bud oh you sneaky you sneaky you're not that sneaky, though, are you? You're not that sneaky, though, are you, eh? Eh? She goes up again. Oh. Oh, right in the tum- right in the tum hole. Ashton calling for the tag. Barbara says, hey, catch! Catch him! Catch the boy! And Bubba Ray Dudley is out, which is understandable. And we're going into a rope break again. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, sad. Sad. Unsubscribe. Bubba Ray Dudley, I don't know why you think you could pose any threat to Baybar Piss, but you can't. So I'm just gonna, gonna sneak in here. I'm gonna try that again. Here we go. All right, I hope you're watching Sean O'Hare. I hope you're watching Ashton Matthews, and I hope you're watching in particular Vince McMahon. You made a real error of judgment turning on Baybar Piss. Attack. Attack. That's it. That's all, that's, that's, as uh, Carmelo Hayes would say, that's it, and that's all it's ever going to be. You don't box with God. Who do you think you are? I'm Baybar mother flipping piss. Don't you dare. Getting a good look at Baybar's new outfit, though. You know, I don't think I will change her name. I think she's Baybar now. Are you okay with that? Take that! There's your receipt courtesy of Baybar Pierce and Ashton Matthews. Thank you very much. My generation of Baybar Pierce. Come, come on! I'm gonna quickly back out because Baybar's new tights, uh, they're, well they're not tights actually, that's the thing, they are I think technically they're shoes. I'm just wondering if they go any higher because they're pract they practically are wrestling tights now. And if I can connect them, then she'll be wrestling in tights, which I think would be a, this would be a new look for Baybar. And I'm just, I'm excited for it. You know? See, see them? See, they go all the way up. They don't quite touch her un underpants. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can do that. Uh, layers list, edit, uh, shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, they can't. That's a shame. They don't quite go high enough. They're so close, though. Usually they'd be, like, down 
down here. I quite like the I quite like the long boys, you know. I'm quite a big fan of the long boys. I wonder if maybe we can edit her pants. Are there any pants that will connect? There aren't really any tr any trunks for for women. They're kind of all a bit rubbish. You know, they're all they're all just kind of they're they're, they're kind of not even there at all. That was her original one. Those are very nice uh, bay bar un underparts, but I do wish they went a bit lower, you know? I wish they went a little lower. It's a shame. Um, yeah. These aren't going to have a long boy option, no, they're not. That's a shame. Can you make the shorts longer? No. They're not shorts though. Maybe we can, maybe we can add some shorts, you know, lower. Or maybe we can just give her uh, tights. Looks like she's ready to do do some yoga, you know. God, these are these, these are these are really long boys. They go so high as well. That's probably about the right height. Got weird straps on them and stuff. Jeans. Holes. Let's try let's try these on for size. See if we can find the right colour. It's one it's flipping one of these. Where are they? Is that there? That's not there, is it? It's a similar style. Sometimes the styles just don't match up and it's really weird. Oh no, that's them. Those are pretty cool. Those are like Eddie Guerrero palms, uh, under palms. Right, we can get some more of these in too. Get a bit of knee pad in. Those are pretty cool, man. I like those. It's a pretty cool look. Let's go for those. Decision. And then we'll edit the parties so that they're not gigantic. Is that an option? So we can't see them? There we are. That'll do. That's fine. Can you see? You can't see her ouch tattoo. Damn it! What we'll need to do then is it. Tattoo? Is it this one? That's not it. Although we will move that a bit further up. <laughs> keys, keys! Yeah, love it. Oh, it's getting a bit difficult to see. Can we make it. Okay, okay. That kind of that kind of looks like what I wanted it to look like. Uh, where is her ouch tattoo? There she, there she is in all her glory. Where's her ouch tattoo? Which one is it? These are new ones. Picture? Is it this one? No, that goes on her hat. We're just gonna have to go one by one, which is really annoying. It's not alphabet, it's not numeral, it's not numeral. It's gotta be this one. No. Is the ouch tattoo gone? It may well just be that the ouch tattoo is gone, in which case we just need to apply a second ouch tattoo. That's nice of you, you can do that. Design. Uh, picture? Back? Is it in here? It might be in here. Keep an eye out for the ouch tattoo. Although I'm going to see it before you are. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got it. Classic ouch tattoo from Barbara. Don't know where it went, yeah. but there we are. Hey Ben, just stopping in to say hello as I'm at work. 
Hello. But I got my very first platinum trophy last night. The hunger goes away when I get another one, right? See you on the VOD. Case, case. Case, case. Yeah, that is how it works, not a tadpole. You're talking to the guy who uh, definitely didn't get, like, five platinum trophies over the weekend. Not me. nuh -uh. Not this guy. Uh, congratulations, though. That's hugely exciting. It's a slippery slope, though. So be careful. Decision. There we are. Cool, look at that. Barbara with the long boys. I like it. Looks cool. Right. There we are. Done. Let's get back to it. Let's hop back to it. And that was not a tadpole. Was lips there, thank you. Okay, back to season. Let's crank on. Do boo boo. Right. More nonsense with Bubba this week. Let's see. Oh, Hannah Montana. Okay, this will officially be the biggest challenge of Hannah Montana's title reign. Jazz, you like jazz? She's re-entered the women's championship scene. She was the original title holder, of course, and. Thankfully, took a long old break. Uh, because if she challenged any of our custom guys, she may well have won. Remember, Ivy was the one to dethrone her, though. Ivy did it. Giles, you like Giles? You like Giles? You like Giles? You like Giles? Do you like Giles? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Current champion, Hannah Montana, with her cement jeans she got from her dad. Let's go. Judd Johnson getting back at Peter Austin for his comments about X-Squad. Yep, Judd Johnson in action next. Barbara and uh, Bubba Ray in the main event. Predictions now live. Who's going to win? Jazz or Hannah Montana? Hannah Montana, clearly, look, she just counted Jazz, made it look like an absolute dinghole. DDT from the reigning champion. There's no DQ in this match either. Hello, Jazz. There we are. What's the worst game you played for a Platinum? Difficult to say because in the early days of Platinum trophies, I used to rent movie tie-in games from Blockbuster. And... Uh, those were, those were not easy games to platinum either because they were buggy and they took ages. They were just like really frustrating collectathons and they were, a lot of them didn't have like chapter select and stuff. So even though they were easy platinums, they were not easy. They weren't like these, you know, my name is Mayo 2 where you play it for 15 minutes and you have a platinum trophy. They were, they were really tough. I think Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs was one I had. Awful, really awful. Very back and forth between Hannah Montana and Jazz so far. Two musical legends in the ring right now. Jazz ducks under the slap, the wild slap from Montana, who counters out of the headlock. Oh, the groin kick from Hannah Montana, who sprints in and just shoulder tackles. Jazz to the ground and the drop kick to the face. Wow, we, this is violent. The chop, the punches, the chop, the punches. We've seen this work so many times from ha for Hannah Montana. The chop, punch combination. No one ever seems to have an answer for it. Oh, slamming Montana's face into the canvas. Jazz goes up high. What does she have in mind? The elbow drop, but Hannah Montana manages to roll through. Oh! The forearm. Attempting to lift Hannah Montana, but she can't. The weight of her genius and talent is just too much. But Jazz now counters. And Hannah counters right back. Hannah nearly got a finisher. Look at that offense, though. Before Jazz had even fallen to the floor, Hannah was dropping an elbow on her. Oh! The headbutt to the chin. Hannah thrown into the ropes, runs back, ducks through, jumps over. Whoa! Goes over the ropes, manages to get back in the ring. The slap, the punch, and here comes... The big slaps from Hannah Montana, who does now have her finisher. 
Jazz though, sees it coming, ducks under, doesn't duck under it well enough, here we go, gigantic swinging DDT from Hannah Montana, will the champion retain off that, it doesn't look like Jazz is hurt enough but she is going to go for it, Jazz kicks out a two. 56% of you backing Jazz. Think Jazz is going to reclaim her WWE Women's Championship tonight. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Look at that. The DDT from Hannah Montana. She is the Women's Champion for a reason. Which game was the hardest of Platinum? That's tough to say. Because there are lots of Platinums that were incredibly tedious. And they were hard for that reason. And then there were some that have either playthroughs on ridiculous difficulties to get trophies or the game is just hard in general like I have the Platinum in. Demon Souls PS3, Demon Souls PS5, Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. None of those were easy but you know they are half the course. Returnal was a tough Platinum, I got that very early on as well before there was much documentation online. Look at that! That is beautiful from Hannah Montana. It's a party in the USA, everyone. And you're all invited. Jazz saved by the rope break there. Jazz very close to her finisher, but Hannah is also closing back in on a second finisher. Again, the shoulder tackle. Jazz is in trouble. Oh! That cannot be legal, but there is no DQ. And Hannah is going for a second finisher. Look at that, a different DDT this time, planting the challenger into the cover. And that is a dominating defense from Hannah Montana. Incredible. There's a reason she's the champion. There is a reason. Jazz stood absolutely no chance there. No chance. Next up. Peter Austin goes one-on-one -on -one with Judd Johnson. Judd, I believe, has also had quite an impressive start to his uh, Tropal Jump career, although I believe he had a losing attempt at Barbara a couple of times. Here comes Tiny Peter. Ready to go. If you caught Tiny Peter's awesome uh, night of art live, yes, last night, you will have seen that he painted a real-life grumpy ape, grumpy chimp, whatever he, whatever it's called, legally different. You can actually bid on it right now. We are selling it. It's not an NFT. It's a real-life piece of art you can hang on your wall. Ashton, myself, Peter, and Billy have all signed it. So you can uh, check out our Twitter to find out where you can, uh, where you can bid on that. Du, du, du. Here he comes, big boy Judd Johnson. There's going to be a real size difference in this match. Peter's going to have his work cut out for him here, I think. It's going to be an uphill battle. A real uphill battle. Uh, predictions now live. I should have clicked on that. Got totally side sidetracked there. Here we go. X Squad on a pole match. Judd Johnson definitely the stronger of the two competitors. CJ is on fire. Thank you for the resub. 24 months. Two years. If James Jenkins signs it in milk, I'll bid. <laughs> Peter Austin sent flying by Judd Johnson. I don't think Peter Austin's had a single piece of offense so far in this match. You've got 30 seconds left to get your predictions in if you want to wager any channel points. The monkey flip from Peter Austin. That's what we're here for. That's what we like to see. Ooh. Look at the size difference. Just look at it. Mountain of a man is Judd Johnson, who nearly has his first finisher. Oh dear, Peter. Oh dear. Oh! Oh, the bear hug. Brutal. Into the cover. Rope break though, sadly. I played Crash Team Racing for the first time since helping you with the Platinum. Managed to do four of the, uh, managed to do four of the dev times, no chance with some of them. Cameron Keywood helping me out of a bind there with the Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Platinum because I'd done everything 
that game had to offer trophy-wise, apart from the time trials for some of the newer races, well, for, for, for a lot of them, actually. I think I did a lot of them the first round, and then there's the there's the nitrous oxide, and then there's the nitrous br brio? The M br brio? Is that right? Does that sound right? I can't remember the names. It's been too long. Yeah, they were just too hard. Couldn't do it. It sucked. I was on like a trophy count of 85% or something. Could never finish it. Oof. Peter getting his his uh, his licks in now, and I hope he makes the most of them because Judd Johnson is surely closing in on a victory here. One percent off the uh, the weed number of you backing Judd Johnson, sixty-eight percent, and here it comes, the bear hug again. He locks it in, throws Peter to the gr uh, ground like he's a rag doll. Ben, have you seen that Netflix has just taken over the rights to a Bioshock film, so it might actually happen one day? I did! I saw it just before I went live. I mean, they've announced it extremely early, but if it's Netflix, they have the money and they have the pipeline. It seems they have writers and directors and actors on retainer, so... They could have it turned around in, like... By Christmas, if they wanted. Will it be good? Probably not. I think I'd rather see it as a TV show, but... It'll be nice to... It'll be nice to see see something finally come with a Bioshock license. It's been passed around all over the place. Oh! Referee sent flying out of the ring. He's back in. He's okay. I'm amazed Peter Austin managed to kick out of that pin, to be honest. He's been absolutely dominated in this match by Judd Johnson, who is closing in on his third finisher. Peter, not even, not even a quarter of the way to one. Things haven't been going well for Peter since Worst Team Ever split up. Not really, no. No, I mean, it, it never really went that well for them when they were together, so... Here we are. I, the, ah, thank you for the resub. Three months. I actually remember to renew this month. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Into the cover, Peter Austin, a kick out of one, of course. I don't know what Peter was thinking there. Trying to take shortcuts. Judd Johnson. Is he going to fall for it? They always do. Goes to shake the hand of Peter's like, nah, idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, forearm. Got kicked to the back of the head. Peter now starting to roll a little. But you have to imagine it's just a matter of time. He goes up high. Judd Johnson lying in wait, and look at that, the diving blockbuster from Peter Austin, beautifully executed, very dangerous, super kick to the lower back, and now Peter showcasing his speed. Judd says, that is quite enough out of you, young man, chop, and he's going to fall for it again, he's going to fall for it again. Peter is currently on three wins and eight losses. Oh, the eye poke! Fortunately, Judd Johnson is wearing sunglasses, and here it comes again. The bear hug. Judd needs to drag him away from those ropes and go for the cover there. Pop Culture Pride, thank you for the re- Excuse me, a kick out of nothing from Peter Austin. What is going on? Pop Culture Pride, thank you for the resub. Five months, thank you. I have to wonder if Judd's actually going to... be able to do a move powerful enough to win this match because neither of his finishing moves are particularly strong. I mean, if he goes for the pin off this, the Gorilla Press Slam, no, then that might be enough, but no. That'll do it, that'll do it, surely. Wasn't a finisher, but Peter Austin is out for the count and Judd Johnson with the victory. Peter slips to three wins and nine losses in Trawpole Jump. Main event time! Bubba Ray Dudley not uh, satisfied with his absolute destruction last week is back for more. Shut up, Bubba Ray! Here comes Baybra. Baybra is back with the long boys. She's got those long boys on. She's got the... She's got the long boys on. Here she comes, the queen. Baybra piss. Da, da, da. Baybar, sorry. Baybar. Baybar, not Baybra. You can follow Baybra on uh, 
Bay Bar, for God's sake, on Twitter if you want. At Piss underscore Barbara. That's at Piss underscore Barbara. Come on, Bay Bar, bring it home. Bring it home, Bay Bar. Let's do this thing. Do, 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 Bay Bar. Do, Bay Bar. Let's get it on, Bay Bar. Bay Bar? Oh, you know, I really like the new tights. I do like the long boys on Bay Bar. Hey, 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 ref, come on, mate. Can you, can you make him stop, please? Stop here. Get the flipping neck off me. Time to continue to go to work on that neck of yours, uh, Bubba. Baybar's here and she says, you've won a round the world trip. Here we go. We can do this all day, Bubba. All day. Slam, slam. Slam, slam, Bubba. Oh, remember when you beat up all my friends and wouldn't let them win the uh, tag team championships? Remember that? Remember that, Bubba? Oh man, that was crazy, wasn't it? Give him a sexy dance, Bubba. That's the stuff. Hey, hey, don't, don't feel so down, bud. Oh, buddy! Is someone about to have their finisher stolen? Oh, I think they are. Oh, remember when you beat up all my friends with that move? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, bud! <laughs> get up. Oh, we're never going to get this away from the ropes. We are! That's it! It's locked in! Somehow that wasn't a rope break, and Bubba taps out to Baybar. Stupid! Stupid Bubba! You stand no chance, no chance in hell. Gigantic maroon. <sighs> oh! Peace, peace, he's manhandling Bubba after the match. This is too, am I the baddie still? This is too much. If she keeps it up, if, if she keeps this up, it could end his career. Bubba is being carried away on a stretch. Oh man, no. Don't move your head. The title match could be broken off. His head could be broken off. I mean, at least this is accurate. She did drop him on his head a lot. This must have been her master plan. What a scary woman Peace Peace is. I hope she runs back out and knocks him over. Barbara Pierce, Baybar Pierce. Play Baybar's music. Play Baybar's music. What's gonna happen now? I can't believe Baybar is being positioned as the baddie in this. That guy's aligned with uh, Vince McMahon. Outrageous. Right. Triple H defends the Hardcore Championship against Ashton Matthews. Let's flipping go. What a curtain jerker. And if you don't know what that is, that's wrestling parlance for first match. To jerk the curtain. Matthews! Part of me wishes she elbow dropped the stretcher from the top rope. That would have been amazing. Sparkle splash though, obviously. Ashton wants the gold. Can you dig it, Matthews? Matthews is hungry for championship. Can she win it? Has she held it before? I have a feeling she's been the... She may not have been, it may have just been the IC champion. I can't remember. Duh, duh, he's got the world's slowest entrance in this game. Who's winning, Ashton or Big Paul? Get your votes in now. I should say your predictions. Wager those channel points. Ashton is a two-time hardcore champion. Thank you. Two times, huh? Triple H, remember, is kind of running in God mode in this game. He's sort of ridiculously untouchable. Uh, Ashton, however, if she gets hold of a chair, might stand a chance. She's a very good wrestler, though. Remember the genetic clone of Barbara, at least on a stats level. A Triple H there impressively managing to duck behind nobody. Just did a little spin. And now Ashton. Getting in some offense, twisting on the neck, cranking the dome hole. 
Ashton needs to keep up this level of offense if she wants to stand a chance of winding. If she wants to ch stand chance of stand at winding. Pretty even so far though, but remember Triple H has to do one move and he'll get like two thirds of his finisher bar because it's not fair. The world's longest move as well. Here he goes. Ooh. Whoa! It's just, it's just silly. It's just really silly. I bet it does no damage as well. Just let it go. Triple H. Uh, Ten seconds left on the predictions. Waited in Ashton's favor so far. So it seems like Triple H is the underdog, even though he just punched her directly in the face. Oh no, it swung right back the other way. 55% backing Paul, 45% backing Ashton. It's been all Triple H for the last, well, I say minute, I suppose, but it's that's enough sometimes in this. The neck breaker from Ashton, that's brutal looking. And it's her turn to try and choke out Big Paul. Oh, bro. Ashton should really be getting a, a weapon involved. Paul ducks behind. Just starts punching in the back of the head, which doesn't seem, you know, very uh, sportsmanlike, does it? Doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. Triple H does have a finish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ashton. Uh-oh. Oh. Ashton absolutely planted in the center of the ring. Big Paul into the cover. Two... Oh, goodness me, that is what I would call a burial. <sighs> Ashton Matthews beaten sound... soundly. That's the word I'm looking for. Soundly by Big Paul there. Boo, Triple H, boo! <sighs> Very sad. In the main event, though, the Queen, the World Heavyweight Champion, Barbara Pierce, takes on Sean O'Hare for some reason. What I am very thankful for is that ever since Barbara arrived on the Tropple Jump scene and beat Triple H for his championship, he's sort of, he's not been asked about reclaiming it. Because it could have been the entire season long, it could have been just Barbara versus Triple H the entire time. Sorry, Baybar. Baybar versus Triple H. Here she comes, Baybar. It's Baybar, everyone. Follow, follow Baybar on Twitter. Give Baybar a follow on Twitter. At piss underscore Barbara. Simp for Baybar. Everybody simp for Baybar, please. You better be simping at home. Simping ain't easy. Give 100 bits to simp for Baybar. That's the cost of admission. 100 bits for simp for Baybar. Come on. Baybar simpage, let's go. Not to be confused with Wurzel Gummage. Oh, Sean O'Hare, were you watching last week, bud? Do I need to stretch you away as well? Oh, Sean O'Hare. With your cool sort of almost Spider-Man trunks. Simp for Baybar. Simp, simp for Baybar. Sean O'Hare? What's going on, bud? Baybar has officially become yeah. Baybar Lesnar. Follow Baybar on Twitter. Go Baybar, go. Go Baybar, go. Stephen, thank you very much for the blips. You're officially a simp for Baybar. Ugh, please stop. One blip. I'm sorry. But that doesn't end, that doesn't get you into Baybar fan club. It does, however, get you a shout out. I yeah. Thank you. So simp for Baybar. Potato Shack ninety nine. Thank you very much for the blip. You are a simp for Baybar. You are a simp for Baybar. Comrade Marlow, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, catch you in the. Uh... Oh. Hopefully, yeah. catch you in the vod. A symphony of peace, warm stunners. Oh, what's going on? Double L Loser, thank you very much. You're officially a simp for Baybar, thank you. Baybar flips through. Oh, bloody heck. And now, Baybar locks it in. Baybar Lesnar, everyone. Taking Sean O'Hare to Suplex City and then choking him out. Baybar Lesnar cannot be stopped. Baybar Lesnar has a new 
tactic, I suppose. She doesn't need her own finishes anymore. She steals someone else's, does a load of German suplexes, and then chokes out her opponent. That's Baybar Lesnar in a, in a nutshell. Peace Peace finished her match, and she wants yeah. a microphone. Pup George, Pup George, sorry. Official simp for Baybar, thank you. Thank you for the blips. It is said that there would be some announcement about the cancellation of the title match. <gasps> well, there yeah. is Bubba. Peace, peace. Adi Pramana, thank you for the blips. You're officially a simp for Baybar. Congratulations, welcome to the club. You can, put that, you can all put that in your Twitter bios now, on your LinkedIn, on your CV. Simp for Baybar. February 2022 to present. Well, there is Bubba. Bubba came out on the stage. He's in a wheelchair. That looks painful. What's Bubba going to say? There's something I want to tell you, Peace Peace. I'm unable to fight right now, but I will be back someday. If you don't believe me, I will prove it. Oh my god. So brave. So. Didn't even stand up. That's rubbish. You've got to do better than that, bud. Oh my god, he did it! <laughs> what was that animation? What was. Bubba is on his way to recovery. Bubba is now able to stand and walk. I can confirm one thing. Bubba will be back. And someday, Bubba will catch you. Yeah. Bubba is standing simp up. For Bubba. No, Potato Shake 99, you're not allowed to be a simp for Bubba. He's the enemy. Thank you for the blips. Though. Peace, peace, better take good care of herself. Bubba seeks his opportunity for Ravengi. Fantastic. That was weird. That was really weird. That was all really weird. How strange. Anyway, we we forge on. Does he have to forfeit the tag titles yet? He bloody well should, shouldn't he? I am sick of waiting for one of our custom guys to hold the gold. Right, what do we do? Uh, we're already faster than everyone. Technique's pretty good. Endurance is pretty high. Mm, can't put submission up. Maybe tech... Mm, I don't know. Untouchable. Endurance. It goes up. Let's go. Let's flip and go. It's 420, everybody! It's the sex number. Get ready to blaze it and look at this hardcore triple threat. Zvinkla takes on Pal Musek and Billy Ray Cyrus. Then Dave Benson Phillips takes on Wet Boy and in the main event, Barbara Piss. Ber Babra Piss, sorry. Versus John Cena. Let's go. 420 my dudes the sex number blaze it now remember in triple threat matches first we need to do a poll because we can't have a three-way prediction so the poll should be up shortly the top two scoring in the poll will be entered into the official predictions but we're, we're underway already there's no entrances there's no time there is no time Zavinkla could potentially walk away with his first ever victory here. The referee's already taken a bump. Look at this colorful collection of characters in the ring. Billy Ray Cyrus with his cement filled jeans, unsuccessful in the piss elimination chamber. How many yeah. already hurt? peace. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much. And the prerequisite required from board Steve whenever Pal yeah. is in the ring. Booyaka Booyaka Palit Tan, that's his Pueblo. That is his Pueblo, that is. We all know it. We all know it. 151, one, 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 right? The 151. One. Thank you, Board Steve. The blitz there. Zavinkler, absolutely rolling, nearly got his finisher. Lord Brotovich, I can only imagine, is beside himself. It is a hardcore match. The first chair comes into play now. Hamusek waiting his turn. Now remember, this is a triple threat, which means that it could theoretically go on for six years. Because there will always be someone who can break it up. Poll is well underway. In fact, it's nearly finished now. And it looks like Zvinkla and Billy Ray Cyrus will be entered into the predictions momentarily. Billy Ray Cyrus hitting his finisher now. Zvinkla just sort of waiting, watching extremely ominously like a horror villain. Lord B isn't here. He's missing out. 
He is missing out. Oh, hello, predictions. There we are. Zavinkla or Billy Ray Cyrus, remember if Pal Musek wins, nobody gets any points. So there we are. Boo-boo. Yeah, he better bloody watch the VOD. He better bloody watch the VOD. Pal Musek, Hurricanrana, beautiful stuff. 151, that's his Pueblo. Look at that, the pin attempt there from Pal Musek, soundly quashed by Zavinkla. Look at that, what a beautiful move. And it looks like Zavinkla's about to hit his finisher. We haven't seen this before. Oh, that is beautiful. Is that a crossroads? That was phenomenal from Zavinkla. He's having a lot of problems breaking up the pin, though. Pal Musek nearly stole it there. Pal Musek going for a cover now. Zavinkla is down. Oh, my goodness. That was extremely close. And Zavinkla is cross. He takes out both opponents with one clothesline there. And is now choking the life out of Pal Musek. Back suplex from Billy Ray Cyrus into a cocky cover, which is easily broken up by Pal Musek, the most damaged member of this match. Is that the code red? Counter. Broken up by Pal Musek. He walks right into a foot. And now Pal Musek and Billy Ray Cyrus square up to one another. These do know each other very well. I say confidently, not knowing their stats, but it feels like they should have had a match at some point, surely. The Winkle Whirl is a great name for that finisher. Zvinkle is slowly building up to the to a second Winkle Whirl. Zvinkle Whirl. Yeah, that's it. Boston Crab. Billy Ray Cyrus not nearly hurt enough for that to have any lasting impact, though. Pamusek comes flying in with just a wild kick. Glancing blow to both men, but not really doing much else. And DDT, beautiful stuff. Zvinkla, though, ready to take advantage. Clothesline, no, not a clothesline. Takes him out over the knee. Oh, Zvinkla, it looks like he went for a big boot there, but missed. That was his finisher, and so he now has no finisher. But he does have a chair. Let's see if he can actually hit someone with it. It's been a pretty tame, hardcore match so far. Nobody has hit anyone with a chair. Until now, Zvinkla eats steel. The, everyone eats steel. Pal Musek is unchained. The DDT onto the chair from Pal Musek. Who is really damaged now. The low blow directly into what I'm assuming is the... What is this? This is the jackknife powerbomb. That was a beautiful counter from Billy Ray Cyrus, but he's there with the chair. Zavinkla, he's there with the chair. Whack. Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. Classic 2K20 reference there. The Vinkler's got to be feeling pretty hard done by. Can't lift those cement trousers for a start. He earned his finisher, and yet he was not able to use it. Because he missed. He completely missed with the finisher. Arm drag, nearly onto the chair. Not quite. Pal Musek feeling the effect of this battle so far. The Vinkler there to oh, bring him back down across the knee. Drops the elbow. Goes to work on the leg. We can't really see because Billy Ray Cyrus is directly in the way. But Cyrus now getting stuck in. Zavinkla, I've just realized he's really slow, isn't he? He does have his finisher, though. If he can hit this on Billy Ray, that might be it. He's got... He does have a prompt to use a finisher, but I think he's going for a... What's this? A chair? He's got a chair. Pal Musek has a table... Oh, look at this. All three men with weaponry, and Pal Musek is busted open. Zavinkla lobbing the chair. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus goes for the cover, but easily broken up there. Look, it's all going crazy. Here's a finisher, a jackknife power bomb, but Pal Musek is waiting. He is ready. Oh, the counter from Zavinkla. Billy Ray Cyrus not quite able to hit that finisher because Zavinkla was ready. No one is ready for Zvinkla. Surprise Vinkler. Who is desperately trying to just sort of tickle Pal Musek there. Suspended out of time and space. Zvinkla getting back into the ring, a very sensible idea, because it's all a bit chaotic outside. Zvinkla does have his finisher, though he nearly has two finishers, but eats a leg and foot. 
courtesy of Pal Musek, who is really hurt. DDT, beautiful. A beautiful DDT there. Zavinkla really needs to hit his finisher here because Billy Ray Cyrus is down and out. No, he's not. He is up and about. Can you imagine if Finkler pulled off the impossible? Can you even imagine? Can you imagine, though, if he pulled it off? How crazy that would be. We'd never hear the end of it. It does look like he's going for a finisher, though. No, he misses with that finisher again. That big boot, he is so rubbish at it. The referee is down. 18% of you backing Vinkler. That's going to be a lot of millionaires. Providing he pulls off the victory, it really could go either way at this point. Seems like it's going to be a case of luck. The referee is down. Das Big Boot missing wildly. Oh no, here comes a jackknife power bomb from Billy Ray Cyrus. The achy bakey, achy bakey, the wakey bakey bomb. Achy breaky bomb there. But fortunately, Pal Musek is there to save Vinkler's bacon. The bacon. Pal Musek going into the cover. Oh my god. Oh my god, Pal Musek's going to steal it. Oh. Billy Ray Cyrus powering out at the last second. Another DDT. Pal Musek surprising everyone in this match so far. Zavinkler biding his time. Should really be doing some taunts. Pal Musek. Look at it hit him with the 151. The original 151. There it is. That is his Pueblo. Into the pinning combination. Beautifully done, but unfortunately Vinkler is there to play. Spoiler, lobbing the chair. Vinkler is enraged. He is so cross. He has missed two of his finishes so far. All these pinning attempts just being broken up. And the DDT from Pau Musek. Billy Ray Cyrus has the chair, and Pau Musek walks right into it. This could be it right here. It looks like Billy Ray Cyrus wants to make Pau Musek pay, though. Well, maybe he doesn't. What does he want to do? Billy Ray Cyrus too hurt. Oh, is it finisher time? It's finisher time. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. But Billy Ray Cyrus immediately waiting. He now hits his finisher. It's all kicking off. I can't even remember what the Vinkler's finisher is called. Completely forgot already. Into the cover. Pal Musek is nowhere to be seen. And the former WWE champion picks up the well-deserved victory over a very game Vinkler. Congratulations, Billy Ray Cyrus. Rachel Vibes, thank you so much for the resub. 19 months. Always a rare occasion when I get to catch even a bit of a stream, so I'm happy to finally get to one. Hope all is well with you, Ben, and everyone in the Walrus Clan. Good to see you, Rachel. Thank you for coming by, and thank you for the resub. Thank you. Well, it didn't go so well for Pal Musek in that last match, but his tag team partner, Wet Boy, is ready to go. It's mid-card time. As Ben's Wet Boy takes on the Seagull Destroyer, Dave Benson Phillips next or right now i suppose is the answer holler if you hear him man what a match that could have gone either way could have gone either way but the poll was correct it was one of the uh, it was one of those two guys who ended up winning Right, predictions now live. Pokey Hermanos back in action. Wet boy Dave Benson Phillips, who will win? Dave had a very game showing the other week on Triple Jump. And again, just look at the physical conditioning of Dave Benson Phillips. How can you dispute that the man is a wrestler? Oh, the low blow. But Dave counters, remember, he doesn't actually have testicles. Fun fact about Dave Benson Phillips, no testicles at all, none. Very back and forth so far. Counter to counter. Look at this. 
knee across the back of the neck of Phillips. Just garroting the poor man. Boy throws him in the back elbow and the right hand levels Benson Phillips. Now Wet Boy countering with some offense of his own, rocking Phillips, and again knocks him down. Dave Benson Phillips may be working his way towards his finisher faster than Wet Boy is, but Wet Boy is really just laying in the hits now. Justice for Zavinkla. Won the points, but that was a bittersweet victory. I know, we were all secretly hoping for a for a, a, a Winkler a Winkler victory, right? There goes Wet Boy. Wee! Got yellow head already. Not looking too promising for our wet boy there. You've got 20 seconds left to get your predictions in as well, if you would like to. Wager some channel points. Who is gonna win? Remember next in your main event, Baybar is in action, I think against John Cena. Dear. You don't want Dave Benson Phillips to lock in a submission. He has a very high submission stat, remember. It's not good. It's not looking good. 59% of you backing Dave Benson Phillips, who does now have his finisher. Sending Wet Boy back into the ring. Dave follows suit. Takes a little too long to get back in there, though. Wet Boy up first with the right hands. Can't lift him, though. 500 pounds of pure athlete. Benson Phillips clubbing blow and out spills Wet Boy. Oh no. Dave Benson taking a bit too much time to showboat. Wet Boy trying to make him pay for it, but unfortunately, again, Dave Benson Phillips just a bit too strong, a bit too powerful. And in comes Dave Benson Phillips looking for that submission. Here it is. It's not a submission. What's he doing? The crank of the neck into the scorpion death drop. And Wet Boy is in trouble now. Into the cover. Two. Elementary. A very straightforward victory for Dave Benson Phillips in this encounter. A short and sweet match. Wet Boy's woes continue. Main event time. Baybar Pierce takes on John Cena. Here goes. I wonder what will happen. John Cena, honestly, I mean, he was the first person to be taken to Suplex City, wasn't he? By, by Bork Laser. Baybar Lesnar very much following in his footsteps of best friend Brock. How can anyone hope to stop Baybar Lesnar? Here she comes. Here she goes. Here she flipping. Go on your bloody feet for Baybar Lesnar. Here she is. World Heavyweight Champion Baybar Lesnar making her way to the ring. You may notice on the front of her hat a little daffodil. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it a lovely daffodil? You can follow Baybar Lesnar on Twitter at piss underscore Barbara. Daily wisdom. And make sure you go to triplejumpshop.com. Buy yourself a Kiss Me I'm Barbara breath mints tin. It's got mints in and everything. They've started to arrive with people now. They're fantastic. The print quality on the tin's great. You can store condoms in it afterwards. Or more mints. Up to you. With a tin like that, you're going to need the condoms. Just saying. Right. Best friend John. You remember best friend Bork, don't you? Uh, excuse me. Little bit of Monica. For John Chayner. Barbara hoists him up. Ooh. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Oh, Barbara. Baybar even. Baybar already locking in the sleepy time submission. The submit to Baybar locked in. John not quite sleepy enough just yet. He says, it's not bedtime yet, mum. I don't want to go to bed. Baybar says, shut up, John. Eat your Monica and get up because it's time for a flight around the world. There you go, John. Wee. Get up, John. Get up, John. Time for a flight around the world. Wee. Oh, OK. John Cena thinking he's clever. Shut up, John. It's time for a flight around the world. Baybar Lesnar cannot be stopped. She is insatiable. How about a piss warm stunner for you, my friend? There we go. Bam. 
you gigantic maroon. Get up. Get up. Baybar Lesnar says, it's time to go to bed, John. It's time to go to bed, John. And just like that, Baybar has won again. Can nobody stop the trail of devastation left by Baybar Lesnar? I don't think so. 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 King, that's Baba. Will they have the title match right here, right now? I said that I am worthy of the title belt. In other words, I can win under any conditions. So I'm going to let you decide what kind of match we have. Choose what you like. It's your call, champ. And we've got to do three stages of hell, right? Peace Peace has chosen the three stages of hell. Is she joking? Well, this is the longest and most brutal match she could think of. What will happen at Armageddon? Come on! Come on! Here we go. It's Armageddon. Let's flip and get this bread. Or retain this championship, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. The champion is... Hampion. The bomb is ticking away on this feud. Neither side will back down. There's no one to save you, Baba! Fists are flying. Enough force to cause a permanent injury. These guys hate each other. There is no escaping. Everything is on the line. No words will be needed. Well, some words will be needed. Tonight, the title is on the line in a three stages of hell match. First fall will be a hardcore match. The second fall will be a cage match. And the third fall will be a ladder match. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's get this match started now. Let's. Ha, 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 ha. Why did that video package not have Bubba's little dance? Don't know. Missed out though, didn't they? Right, we don't care about that one. Rey Mysterio though, still, still the, the Triple H of the Cruiserweight division. We don't care about this one. Wow, what a fatal four-way though. TLC Fatal 4-Way for the US Championship. Goldberg, Chris Jericho, Kane and Kurt Angle. What a bloody match. Okay, come on then, Bubba. Let's end your career for good, I suppose. This is not going to go well for this poor man. He is going to be absolutely destroyed. What's your favourite chamber match? Been watching them all recently as it's my favourite match type and really like the 2010 match for the World Heavyweight Championship. To be honest, I can't really remember that many... Um, chamber matches like none really spring to mind i would need to have them all described to me or have recently watched them hey bubba we'll make this as quick and as painless as possible you gigantic idiot you're a gigantic idiot this entire month i've just made you and everyone else look stupid why did you think you could beat me why did you think you could beat me why did you think you why did you what okay okay i was just joking i was just joking bro. i was just joking i was just joking. leave it out leave it out i don't think we need to do that Okay. Hey, yeah, I was just joking. I was just joking. I was just joking. Just banter. It's just banter, bud. Ah, no, it wasn't Sparkle Splash. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I could still do that, huh? Sparkle Splash. That's not it, Barbara. Sparkle Splash. Ha ha. Sparkle Splash. I will never stop Sparkle Splash. Sparkle Splash. Oh, God, my back and everything attached to it. Sparkle Splash! Sparkle Splash! Oh, Barbara, come on, he's down. Spa Sparkle Splash! Oh, come on, man. Why does no one want to make the Sparkle Splash look strong? Get up there. Get on the bloody table. Sparkle Splash! Ugh. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, okay. There's not enough. There's no need for that. <laughs> for God's sake, get on the bloody table. Get on a bloody table, here. Go. Piss warm, stutter through the table. You know what that means. You know what that means, don't you, Bubba? It's time for the Bay Bar, the go to Bay Bar. That's it. Submit to Bay Bar. It's time for the submit to Bay Bar. <sighs> Cage match time. I wonder what will happen. I hope he's as damaged as he was before. Yes, he is. Oh, okay. That was a kind of roundabout way of doing that, but I respect it. A little bit of Monica for you, my man. And who am I kidding? I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna head on out. Just gonna head on out of here. Psych! Sparkle splash! I mean, she did hit it, but she also got really hurt in the process. Get up, Barbara. We did actually hit the sparkle splash off the, off the top of the cage. That is the first time for that, and probably only time. Yeah, get out of here! Do you wanna, do you wanna climb it? Do you wanna? Barbara just running, just getting her cardio in. But look, how, look how much I can duck. We definitely could have won in this time. A little bit more money, just a little bit more money. Imagine the ring crew going to all the effort of assembling the cage only for Babs to escape within 30 seconds. There we are. We're out of here. Bye. You couldn't have picked a worse challenger. There was no threat. I mean, there's no one that can threaten Barbara. Baybar, even. There's no one that can threaten Baybar at all. The Rain 5136 thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community. Welcome to the Warriors Clan Gangrel. Thank you, The Rain. Baybar, untouchable. As if there was any doubt, off she heads. Baybar Lesnar, another pay-per-view, another title, defense. Easy peasy. As if there was any doubt. Weep. Foo. Weep. Foo. Right, January. <sighs> I mean, we're closing in on the end of the stream, but like we do need to we do need to forge ahead. So we might go a little longer tonight. Just to just to put a dent in the I mean it's gonna go on forever. If we keep having all these custom guys. But hang on! Double duty for Baybar, are you joking? Alright. So first Baybar's gotta beat up Ashton. And then Baybar's gotta beat up someone in the main event as well. For God's sake. Cut Baybar some slack. Matthews. Baybar. Baybar Lesnar making her way to the ring. This time as the uh, as the Intercontinental Champion. She is both, remember. She is Baybar Two Belts, lest we forget. Baybar Two Belts. And we have the Royal Rumble still to come. That, that's very true, but we probably won't be in the Rumble because we're the world champion, so we don't need to be. Ashton, oh, I mean, it's no DQ anyway. All right, Ashton, someone's in a really dancing mood tonight, aren't they? It's not going to end well for Matthews. Oh dear. Oh dear. Clomp. 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 Get up, bud. Baybar's not done with you, my friend. No? 
Sparkle Splash. Now Ashton, okay, all right, she didn't want to, okay, cool, never mind then. Probably gonna go in the ring, I would imagine. Bonk. No, we haven't done for a while. Jingle Jam. We should do that. You want Jingle Jam? You want Jingle Jam? Jingle Jam! Good. Now, Ashton's... Ashton respects the business of professional wrestling. She will make the Sparkle Splash look strong. She will take the pin. She won't kick out of it. And we can all go about with our day. Barbara's got to do another defense later. Thank you, Ashton. That's, see, that's a good... She understands the business. She knows how it works. She's not going to take advantage. Nice and easy. Nice and or easy. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Ashton, for trying, but no match for Weber. Simply not, uh, just not even an option, so... Thanks for coming, I suppose. Up next, Ivy takes on Sparkles. It's the spooky one versus the small wife. Who is gonna win? Predictions coming your way shortly, in a bit. She's small wife. Da -da 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 Tiny wife. Here comes the small wife. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And the former women's champion, Ivy, the powerhouse, has arrived. Now, here's a bit for the day to go away. And now... It's the price that you're going to pay. Oh, the big boot. Ivy with the big boot immediately. Ivy, as I said, oh, during her entrance, an absolute powerhouse. But I may have spoken too soon because Sparkles is uh, too hefty to be hoisted. Hoisted skyward, it would seem. The drop kick drops Ivy. Sparkles hoisting up the spooky, the spooky spooker there. You have to imagine that if Sparkles is able to come away with the victory here, remember she very nearly beat Emma the other week, that uh, that would put her in line for a title shot, beating a former women's champion. This is a huge opportunity for the small wife. And if the, if, if both wives were holding gold, in trouble jump. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be special? Beep, 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 beep. Yes, the plan is to finish hopefully the season mode before Elden Ring comes out. And we'll be streaming that. So between this stream and next stream, we've got to finish it. Sparkle showing, sorry, Ivy showing off her maneuverability there, rolling out of the ring. I'm again very impressed by. What Sparkles has brought to the table so far. Ivy is already injured. Sparkles nearly on a finisher. It takes usually at least two to put away a custom superstar. From one custom superstar to another, I should say. Sparkles hoisting Ivy back up. The forearm, they lock up and into the DDT again. Beautifully done. Fantastic technique from Sparkles Piss, who is ready for a finisher. What variety of finisher will it be? It is the Piss Warm Stunner. Sparkles, get keys, keys. Getting right in the face of Ivy there, into the cover. Oh. Ivy kicking out. For some reason, I'm going to refresh that because that didn't work. I can't see those predictions. Someone's going to have to tell me what the predictions were because they have broken on my screen, unfortunately. Ivy now, don't know what's happening. I think there's some keys keying going on. Don't know how Barbara would finish would finish, how would feel about that. Look at that, the uppercut from Sparkles. Sorry, from Ivy sending Sparkles flying out of the ring. 53% in favor of Ivy, 47% in favor of Sparkles. Thank you. 
Twitch sort of freaked out for me there and I couldn't see anymore. Ivy beginning to sort of have her way with Sparkles a little bit here. In complete control. And now Sparkles is injured too. It looks like Ivy's going old school. Oh, Sparkles is taken down to the canvas. Ivy removes the turnbuckle pad. Sparkles is down into the Boston Crabs. That's a rope break there, Rev. Thank you very much. Sparkles back to her feet. The drop kick takes down Ivy. And now Sparkles has an opportunity to get back in control, but no Ivy answers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sparkles shouldn't have punched Ivy there, but she did kick her. Again, just the most powerful knee strikes to the gut of Sparkles, but she can't lift her. She can't lift her. Maybe Ivy is a ghost, because Babs killed her for trying it on with Sparkles. I mean, that could be it. I mean, it didn't make much difference if she's still trying as a ghost. You know? Sparkles back in control now. The speed and technique of Sparkles coming to the fore, but Ivy ducks under. How can Ivy answer? She can't. She gets slapped, and Sparkles nearly has her second finisher. Oh, that right hand from Ivy. Devastating. That was instrumental in winning her her women's championship. I think, is she a two-time women's champion as well? Because she lost it back and then won it back again. Had a real series of uh, classic matches with Ivy. And Sparkles has her finisher. Could this be it? Could we be looking at an upset here? Sparkles ready to go. Ivy nearly ready to go as well. Ivy has her finisher too. Who's going to hit theirs first? And it's Ivy. Ivy with the choke slam hoists the small wife skyward and plants her. Is this enough to put away Sparkle's piss? The small wife, not quite. Sparkle's still alive in this match and now she is hungry for her finisher too. Sparkle's desperately needs to get back in control here. She's looking a bit hurt, looking a bit worse for wear. Faced an absolute onslaught here from Ivy, walks into the big boot as well. Ivy now wrenching back on the neck and head of Sparkles Pierce. Sparkles needs to get up. He needs to hit this finisher. Desperately needs to hit this finisher. Oh! A right hand again from Ivy. This is where Ivy becomes so dangerous. The big boot to the back. Oh, this is just brutal to watch. Sparkles is being absolutely destroyed at this point. Oh! The diving punch. No, we'd probably save WWE 2K20 until whenever we finish Elden Ring. There's no rush on that. I would love to stream it at launch, but it's not. It's not a priority. Sparkles with the shotgun drop kick. This is the opening she's been looking for. This is it. No, again, Ivy able to stay in control of Sparkles. It is all falling apart for the small wife. Sparkles desperately just needs one opening, just one opening, and she is not getting it to Ivy's credit. Oh, no, I've spoken too soon. Here we go, piss warm stunner out of nowhere. And a kiss, 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 right in the face. The insult to injury into the cover. Is Sparkles going to do it? Is she going to beat a former women's champion? She's done it. The small wife with the biggest victory of her career so far successfully defeating a former two times women women a women champion two time women's champion absolutely unprecedented congratulations small wife well done well done as main event time as the brother of bubba devon seeks maybe some kind of redemption against baybar but she's not going to get it though you'll find no redemption here You'll find no redemption here. Baybar, too powerful. The small wife victorious, and now it is the turn of the big wife. And here she comes, the biggest wife of them all, Baybar Piss. Ready to roll, and Devon Dudley is about to learn exactly what happens to Dudleys when they step in the ring with Baybar Piss, Baybar Lesnar. It's not going to go well. It is not going to go well. Hey, Devon. What's 
sorry to hear about your brother. I hope he's good. I hope he's okay. Don't worry, though. We'll put you in the same hospital. You guys can hang out. Catch up. Talk about how you should have perhaps let one of the smaller tag teams win the titles. You know, how Baybar, how Baybar Pierce ruined, ruined your day. That's a very good point. If Baybar Pierce wins this match, that will have meant that a Pierce, be it small or big wife, has won every single match tonight on Triple Jump. Every single match of, of Triple Jump tonight officially has been won by a piss, two by big big wife, one by small wife. Incredible. Bay, Bay Bar the Dudley Hunter. That's true. She is a Dudley Hunter. That was one of the shortest matches I think Bay Bar has ever had. Oh, look who it is. RVD came out to the ring. Peace, peace. Good luck in having a nice New Year's holiday because I'll be challenging for your title. I deserve to be a champion. I'm a much better wrestler than you. The people in Oklahoma think so. I think they made a noise briefly. This is the last year you will be a champion. Well, RVD has declared his title shot. It's just the beginning of the year, but it's going to be explosive already. There's no doubt about it. Thank you for watching the program. Good night. From Robot Wars. But we forge forwards. We'll try and get the Royal Rumble done tonight. Hopefully there's not too many multi-man custom boy matches to go through because they, they take a while. Tonight there will be a battle royal match to determine the number one contender. But this won't be your typical number one contender match. Peace Peace is going to take part in the battle. What happens if Peace Peace wins? Well, if Peace Peace wins, there will be no title shot at Royal Rumble. In that case, I'm assuming everyone will be after the champ in this match. This is practically a title match. Cool. Okay, that sounds fair. Let's go then. Let's go then. Wow, there's so much there's so much going on. I spoke too soon. We've got an elimination six-man tag match on one team, Brian Bumpus, James Jenkins, and Rules Boss on the other team, worst team ever, and Billy Ray Cyrus. Then Rodney Mack takes on Neil Buchanan, and in the main event, the six-man battle royal. Bay, uh, Bay Bar Pierce, John Cena, Brian Butterfield, Rob Van Dam, Devon Dudley, and Dave Benson Phillips. Flipping heck, it's going to be a big old match, isn't it? It's going to be a big, big old night of the wrestling, I think. <sighs> Peter and Ben back together again, I know. I know, worst team ever reunion. Here they come. Here they, we didn't think it would happen, but here they come. Can they put their differences aside for the greater good? It's worst team ever. Big old leap. Beautiful. And you can put your predictions in right now. Brian, Jim, Rules Boss, or Peter, Ben, Billy. Vote now. Here comes former WWE champion Billy Ray Cyrus. Gigantic inflatable jeans full of cement. Disc, disgusting. I can't believe he's gotten away with that, really. And that's just one team. They're opponents, and we will see them in the same ring. Brian Bumpus, definitely not Tiny Beater in a wig, that's for sure. Definitely, don't stop saying that. Why would you say that? It's not him. Different guy. Legally a different guy. And his tag team partner, Rules Boss. Here he comes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lizzie Twiz, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. 14 months. Thank you, Lizzie Twiz. Do 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 James Jenkins. Do 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 James Jenkins. James Jenkins. Who is going to win? Predictions are open. It's about a 50-50 split so far. I'm not even displaying predictions. I turned them off because it went weird, didn't it? Hang on. There we go. Beep boop. Who is going to be starting off this match? It is an elimination tag team match, which means that every time there's a pinfall or a submission, 
The person who is pinned or submits simply leaves the ring. Oh my god, it's Tiny Peter versus Brian Bumpus. How has this happened? I don't even know what to say. I've just got to sort of just watch it, watch it unfold. Peter with the dropkick taking out almost everyone there. Sit out power bomb from Tiny Peter. Bumpus goes for the handshake. Really taking it to Tiny Peter so far. It says a lot <clears throat> about the stats of these guys that the four individuals at the bottom of the screen who are just standing on the ropes waiting to be tagged in, who are literally just standing there taunting, are earning their finishes faster than the people in the ring actively doing moves. So, there we are. This is proof that they are different people. Yeah, definitive proof. In comes James yeah. Jenkins. This is a Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter gets bullied by bigger boys and girls on the regular. Donate $69.69 today to save a Tiny Peter before it's too late. You should. You should all you should all donate $69.69. That would be wonderful. Would love that. Thank you very much, McPeety, for the blips there. Appreciate it. And thank you to... Now, come on, mate. How am I meant to say that? Scott... Scott Patton? That could be it, actually. Scott Patton, thank you so much for the subscribe. Welcome to the Warriors Clan. Glad you're here. Ben Potter has been tagged in by his worst team ever. Worst, worst team ever. Partner. That's what I'm trying to get my English. Get my English words out, yeah? Ben Potter does have a finisher. What I am interested in, though, is how the AI is going to work in this match. Obviously, these guys don't want their tag team partners to get pinned because when they do, they're eliminated and it just makes it that much harder because it'll be two on three or three on one. Oh, Ben, no, etc. However, it also doesn't mean it's the end of the match if their partner is pinned. So I'm wondering if, if there's a pinning attempt, will they maybe just kind of let it slide and just let it play out? Because if they're coming in, and they're breaking up pins every two minutes. This match could go on forever because it's not just one pinfall that we have to worry about in this one. It's five, five, pretend five maximum. So it could, it's a lot, it's a lot. Scott Patton is correct. Jeff Bezos says, take my money. And we will. Thank you, Scott. Good to see you. Thank you for coming along. Hey, whip. The Charnel House. Thank you for the reset of 23 months. How do you feel about Cody Rhodes leaving AEW potentially for the WWE? There's the B5, there's the B5. Oh my God, no one kicks out of the B5. Um, we actually touched on this a little bit earlier. I am not 100% sure what is actually happening here. A lot of people saying that it's a storyline, it's a work, it's fake, it's not real. But they're going to a lot of efforts to make it look pretty real. But then I have all sorts of questions like, Cody was the TNT champion like three weeks ago. He has all these like reality shows and he's like a a get oh thank god they're not coming in to break it up there's my answer uh he's um he's like uh was he, he's like a judge on a, on, on some, some sort of talent show on like tbs or tnt or something so it's like it seems like a really if he was to go back to wwe it would seem like an incredibly complex thing to to do but equally like i don't know all he does is complain about it. I, I'd be very surprised if he went back there. I'm not so surprised that he's left because if backstage scuttlebutt is to be believed, which it isn't always, he's a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with in a lot of ways. So I'm not necessarily surprised if he is actually leaving AEW, but I would be very surprised if he goes to WWE. I would be very surprised. Anyway, there's my long rambling ones. Thank you for the reason. Oh, so who have we lost so far? Who got eliminated? Was it uh, Rules Boss? 
Rules boss was eliminated. So team Brian, James Rule. It's just James and Brian left on that team. Full complement of team left with worst team ever and uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. James Jenkins now looking to make a dent. Come on, Jenkins, show him how it's done. James has two finishes nearly. So he could use two Jenkins adjustments. Oh, no, here we go, there's one of them. I was going to say, or he could save up and nick Billy Ray Cyrus. Insult to injury. Unfortunately, Billy Ray Cyrus has a big old dome on his head. Ah, oh, Ben's not going to be happy about that. Malfunction at the junction. Billy Ray Cyrus accidentally taking out his teammate. Can they coexist? The jackknife power bomb from Billy Ray Cyrus to James Jenkins. I don't think it's going to be enough to put Jenkins on the shelf, but Cyrus is going to try it anyway. Oh, I like how no one wants to save Rules Mark. Jenkins, the power of Jenkins hoisting up Cyrus and his concrete legs. sent a video of my parents' cat fascinated with the bath. Why are cats like that? Why are cats so terrified of their humans being in the bath? What a weird little cat. What a, st what a strange little cat. Real daft, eh? Right, it's all, it all appears to be kicking off in the ring currently. Uh, st we haven't had any other eliminations, have we? James Jenkins looking a little worse for wear. Peter Austin rolling him up. Oh, come on, that was a three count ref. Three count. Hohenheim, thank you for the resub. 32 months. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Welcome those of you who have finished work and are now, and are now home. If any of you have joined the stream late, do let me know in the chat. We're going to be hanging around a little longer than usual this evening because we've got, uh, as I said at the start of the stream, oh no, choke slam to Tiny Peter from Tiny Peter. Uh, we're going to be hanging around a little longer. Try and get to the end of this in-game month. Do the Royal Rumble. Oh, James wasn't really sure what to do there because we've only got this stream and next week's stream and then it's Elden Ring and we want to try and finish off the season mode. So there we are. Peter and Bumpus continue to go. Oh, another choke slam for Peter Austin. Bumpus not really sure what to do himself. This could be the first elimination on team worst team ever, Cyrus. No, Peter says. Kicks out again. He goes and tags in. He oh, there's some really bad AI there, isn't it? Whenever the referee is stood in the corner and the computer goes to tag in a partner, they always accidentally get out of the ring instead. Which is proof that they have access to the same controller that we have, because it's square to do both. Rolling Semton on the outside. Oh, all the boys are getting involved. Thankfully, rules boss, he knows the rules. And he's just hanging back. He's just hanging back and he's just chilling out. Peter Austin going for a little fly there. Peter Austin and Brian Bumpus, both still the legal men in this match. This match that could go on forever. It could go on. For, it could go on forever. Both Cyrus and Potter sensing trouble. The torpedo drop kick from Billy Ray Cyrus, and he lands square on the apron. Ben now with the with the right hand, the cheeky right hand to Bumpus. What is going on, referee? Can we get some control in here, please? Somehow, Bumpus counters the flying elbow to the back of the head. One of you has got, got to do something. Peter Austin nearly has three finishes, and Peter is out. That's surely it. No, oh, he still kicks out. He's still in there. 
Bumpus all over Austin. Like a moustache and a wig on a Peter Austin. I don't know what Bumpus was trying to do there. I think he was trying to tag in Jenkins, but he did, there was no ref and he still got out of the bloody ring. Into the cover again. Off. Nothing. Oh. Peter Austin kicks out and then gets drop kicked and then into the cover. Ben, though, this time decides he's actually worth saving. Ben, please just like do a finishing move or something. And Billy Ray Cyrus is now the legal man. Peter Austin successfully getting out of there. Billy Ray has two finishers. He's going to hit one of them now. Here we go. Jackknife powerbomb time. Eventually, we all want to see it. James desperately calling for the tag. Oh my god, how? How is that a rope break? Ben comes in. Lifts him up. Is he going to go for a finisher? Yes, he is. Okay. Well, as long as Cyrus pins Peter, uh, I mean Bumpus after this, then it's all over because nobody kicks out of the B5. For God's sake, Cyrus, do you not know how to drag people? You should know this by now. You are a world champion. Stop pinning them when they're in the ropes, you gigantic buffoon. Oh my God, if he wins with the cocky pin. No, he can't the cocky pin. In comes another finisher though. Cyrus's last banked finisher. Just got off work and I'm sitting in my car so as not to miss anything. Carl Jogo, go home, then you can watch from the comfort of your... Bump pisses out. It is officially a... What the hell? Cyrus just drop kicking Peter Austin, his tag partner, for no reason. It's officially a three-on-one match. It's all up to Jenkins as the sole survivor to win this thing for his team. Roll break. Jenkins has an uphill battle ahead of him. Here's the first Jenkins adjustment, though. The JJ! Into the cover. I don't believe it. Immediately, he's taken out Billy Ray Cyrus. Can he do the same to Tiny Peter Austin, who immediately locks in a choke slam? Immediately locks in a choke slam, and he's going for the cover. Is this all she wrote for James Jenkins? Ben coming in for a better look. And now this is two on one, and that is not fair. The referee needs to get Ben out of there. Peter Austin now having a bit of trouble. Hoisting up Peter Austin. And if Jenkins can hit his second Jenkins adjustment here, the second JJ, he, he could eliminate Peter as well, all on his own. Hoisting him up again. Oh, it's another finisher from Jenkins. Plants Peter Austin. Lifts him up, though, for some reason. He does have another finisher now. Going for that neck crank. Right near the ropes, though. That's looking good. He's also right in Ben's face, which is not a place you want to be. Especially if it's a tag match. Jenkins could do this, you know. Jenkins could go all the way. He does then have to contend with a three finisher possessing Ben Potter, which is not good. Jenkins got a sore head. He's been carrying his team this whole time. Peter does have three finishes as well. James just needs, needs to hit the JJ, and he's done it. Sends him into the ropes. Oh, that was lucky. He's not. Jenkins' controller has unplugged, seemingly. Scoop slam from James Jenkins. It's not a finisher. Can he hit? The attitude adjustment, the Jenkins adjustment. Can he do it? Peter rolls out. Jenkins throwing him into the corner. The drop kick sends Peter tumbling to the floor, stamping a mud hole in Peter Austin. Drops the elbow. Jenkins just sort of playing with his food at this point. He could go for the Jenkins adjustment right now, which he does. Hoists him up for the JJ. Plants him away from the ropes, which is a a key decision and also drags him as well into the cover. Can Jenkins eliminate two members of the same team? MVP James Jenkins now has to answer to Ben Potter, but immediately he walks into a B5. And as we all know, nobody kicks out of the B5. 
Ben Potter's been waiting with all those finishes all this time. And I'm, I fear that James Jenkins, as hard as he's tried, sadly, cannot beat them all. Great work, though, from James Jenkins. Peter, Ben and Billy with the victory. Up next, Rodney Mack takes on Neil Buchanan. Takes on Neil Buchanan. What do you think, Babs? Can't say that, that's disgusting. I'm gonna have one of these uh, delicious Kiss Me I'm Barbara breath mints because I am so hungry. Oh, there he is in his, his gimp outfit. Mmm. Delicious mint at triplejumpshop.com. Love it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is an Art V Mac. Excellent name for these new predictions. Well done. Neil versus Rodders. Lock those predictions in, friends. I'm just going to enjoy my mint for a minute. Do you excuse me? Oh. His shoulder's not even down, Rev. What was that pin? What was that pin? His shoulder wasn't even down. Oh. Meaty clothes like, oh, nope. This is a, this is a great mint, by the way. You can get a whole box of them. A whole box of them. Well. A whole ten of them. His right shoulder's up, that's stupid! So if Ben's got a Dark Souls tattoo, and a Bioshock tattoo, and an Uncharted tattoo, and Ashton's dyed her hair in honour of Aloy in Horizon Forbidden West within the last month. What is Peter going to do, and in honour of which game? Well, Peter Austin is a wonderful man, we all know this. But he's notoriously risk-averse. If you're asking what kind of permanent or semi-permanent things he's going to do to his body to celebrate a game, I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna happen. But he might surprise us all. He might get a big Spyro tattooed on his forehead. You don't know. Power slam! Neil's dead, he's dead. That's a real cover. This mint is actually taking me a lot longer to finish than I was expecting. So there we are. 99% uh, of you backing Rodney Mack in that match. Congratulations, what a gamble. Peter is saving for a full body Spyro tattoo. Yes, yeah, scales all the way down his arm. What would be amazing is if he got like a Yakuza style dragon on his back, but it was Spyro. How cool would that be? Not very cool. I'm getting in a lot of trouble, probably. Okay. Main event time. Let's win this whole bloody thing. Well, Ashton's hair is only temporary. Peter could do something temporary. Again, I don't think you're hearing me. Doesn't matter if it's permanent or semi-permanent. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you are barking up the wrong tiny tree. Seagull Destroyer is here! <laughs> Next time on Artstream, design Peter's back piece.
Here comes Bumpus. I mean, Butterfield. So many similar names. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Boo! Which one is it? Which Dudley is it? Doesn't matter. His brother's still in the hospital, I assume. Is that James Jenkins? No, it's not James Jenkins. Rubbish. Robert Ben Gobert. Peter may just get hit by another car. See, that's true. That is one instance where he was not risk averse. We had to bubble wrap him up first, though, so he's safe. Remember, if Barbara wins this match, she doesn't have to defend the title at Royal Rumble. And why should she? She's, you know, she deserves a break. She deserves a flipping break. Hey, why not follow Barbara on Twitter? Piss underscore Barbara. Sorry, I mean Bay Baybar. Baybar Piss. I've got, still got this mint. What value? I've been sucking on this mint for like six minutes now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get like fifty. You get like 15 mints in this thing. What incredible value. I like how no one's bothered Baba yet. That's nice. Are we missing someone? There are six of us. Is there someone in the top left? Oh, oh. I thought Butterfield was the referee. I'm like, where's, where's the sixth guy? Oh, okay, all right. Plushy Labs, Jenny Kim, thank you for the resub. 13 months. Late to the party like a cool lad. Hope you're well. Doing well, thank you, Jenny. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming. We're going a bit longer tonight. I wonder if Barbara can make every single person in this match tap out. That's something I'd quite like to. Doesn't many mints make bumpus? You're not wrong. I'm, I wouldn't recommend eating all 15 in one go. I've uh, I've got about nine left, and I've had my tin since uh, the beginning of January. So you know, so many options. Right. Let's see if Barbara can make every single person in this match tap out. What? Is it pinfall only? Yes, let's see if Barbara can... Let's see if Barbara can pin every single person in this match. That'll be the new challenge. Barbara would like to pin every single person in this match to prove her dominance. No. Well, the piss one's done it for you. Uh, excuse me, John. I don't actually know what the mints are. I don't know. There may well be nutritional information on the website, but if there is, I haven't seen it. Get it, John? I haven't seen it. Yeah? You get it, John. Because your name's John Cena. And you haven't seen it. Yeah? Uh, excuse me, Devon. I'm trying to pin every single person in this match. I'm currently working on Robert. Don't you do it, Devon. That's not your pin. Why are you such an ass? Oh my god. I should really take out Butterfield because he's the weakest. The weakest man in this match. <laughs> oh, John, you ruined it! I wanted to pin everyone and you got in the way. 
Well, I'll just pin most of the people then. I'll just pin most of the people. Bugger off, John. Baybar doesn't have time. Leave on catch. Look at catch. Branch. Um, hello? Is that a little bear hug for, for B-Rye? A little bit of Monica for B-Rye? Can I win off the little bit of Monica? Oh, no, I'm going into a choke. That's not what I want to do. Get off. Get off. A little Monica. Into the cover. Brian, good boy. John, will you... Fine, piss warm stunner. But I'm not done either. Or maybe I am. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, John. Oh, John. I don't know that. Devon, no, that's not... You are such a... Dick, man. You're such a dick. Yeah, eat that flipping thing. And then I'm going to pin you. My pin. My pin, John. What are you going to do? Oh, Devon. No, John. Dijon, no! Dijon Mustard, stop it! When will we learn? Sort John out first. What a dominating display. She slowly makes her way between the pair of them. Casual as anything. No title defense for Barbara. A Royal Rumble. No title defense there. Peace Peace wins the Battle Royal. Therefore, there will not be a title match at Royal Rumble. Well, it looks like Devon is accusing the senior official, Earl Hebner, of an unfair ruling. I think Devon is telling him that he's cheating. Wow, check out what Devon just did to poor Earl Hebner. Well, Devon doesn't have to worry about being disqualified anymore. We can't allow these kinds of vicious acts to happen. Am I going to start feuding with another Dudley boy now? For God's sake! Are we still the heel here? I don't know, is my honest answer. This is another new storyline for me, though, I think. I have an announcement that I would like to make. As you all know, I have been working as a referee for a very long time. And I am very proud of the job, I do. But just recently, I ha I... Ha <laughs> oh. But just recently, I have was accused by Devon of cheating. Along with the accusation, I was severely injured by him as well. You look injured. I see this as a complete insult to me and all referees of the sport. There's only him in this game, I think. Therefore, I'm declaring that I will be going on strike. Strike? I feel sympathy for the man, but this is unheard of. Well, we have a big problem now. Is Barbara going to have to be a referee? That's weird. Oh. Don't worry, that was the mint. Okay. Why? What is that main event? First up, Billy Ray Warris, Pau Museka, and Wet Boy, two members of Los Pokemanos. They explode in a hardcore triple threat match. Then Emma Jungle Skog looks to continue her undefeated march through Jones. And in the main event, Barb Babra Pierce with Triple H versus Devon Dudley with Neil Buchanan. Again, for some reason. Here we go. We're going to need to do a poll. And the poll is now live. 
Which two members of this match should, we go should go into the predictions? Walrus, Wet Boy, or Pau Musek? Which animal? Look at all the colours. Isn't that a wonderful thing to look at? It can't be long before weapons get involved in this match. Wet Boy goes up high, attempts the spear, completely misses. Wet Boy has the chair. It's the same colour as him, so that makes sense. Billy Ray slapping his bum bum. Somehow manages to knock the chair out of the hands. I unplugged myself accidentally. Out of the hands of Wet Boy, and now no, the brothers, they lock up. They, neither of them can bring themselves to hurt the other. Yeah. But. Booyaka, booyaka. Pallet Town remains his Pueblo. It Maybe does. I should come up with a second line to this. No, I think one line's good forever. Just the same line forever. That's perfect. Thank you, Board Steve, for the blips. These two do not want to fight each other, but they've got to. It's the nature of the beast. Boop, beep, beep. Boop, beep, beep. Oh. And here are the predictions. Pamusek or Billy Ray Walrus. Those are the two that made it through the poll and into the predictions. Pamusek, big drop kick. Big drunk, young drunk. Do Oh no, I don't like it when they fight. I don't like it when the when our boys fight. Why must our boys fight? Billy Ray, desperately trying to get involved, but he's sort of stuck on a chair, so he can't really do much. Raining down right hands on Wet Boy. Pal Musek locks up with Walrus. Clambers aboard into the Harakarana. That is classic Pal Musek right there. Wet Boy accidentally drops the elbow on Pal Musek, and these two once again trade blows. Has anyone hit anyone with a chair yet? Seems like it's just there for decoration, really. It is a hardcore match. There is no referee, it's something I'm just noticing actually, so is that normal for a hardcore match? I don't know. Oh, look at Billy fly! Incredible. Somebody use a weapon, please. Somebody use a weapon. What type is Billy? I'm trying to figure out who has the type advantage here. I mean, based on the colour, I think Billy Ray is a psychic type. Or maybe poison. I don't know. Oh no! The 151 to his brother, Wet Boy. Billy Ray slowly, casually goes in to break it up. And that's fine. Fairy? Is fairy type a thing? That must be a that must be a newer one, right? Fairy type. That's mad. Chair versus chair, here we go. Now we're gonna get some real damage. Oh for God's oh my goodness me, it's chair versus chair versus chair. Billy Ray rocked with a chair. Oh, now the two brothers raining down the strikes. Oh, Billy Ray just getting the worst of that. Really getting the worst of that. Pal Musek back to his feet. Spinning back elbow. Uh-oh. It's time for the wet bomb. Oh! Pal Musek planted into the cover. No, of course that's not going to happen. These matches tend to go on the longest out of all of them, don't they? Triple threats. We really need some more weaponry involved here for these guys to be hurt enough to not constantly get involved. Eventually we might. Eventually. Ew, ew. Slap, slap. Plants him. Pamusek going high. What's he thinking here? Oh, beautiful. 
somehow floats through into the cover. Not quite. Can you imagine if that got the victory, though? Pinning his brother in arms. There's so much story. There's so much history on display here. Billy Ray Wallace going for a table now. That is the side of the room where the table is stored. What's he going to do with the table? He sets it up. Is anyone going to use it? That's a great question. Billy Ray Wallace now has his finisher. I don't think any of them have the capacity to use a table like that. If anyone goes through it, it's going to be accidental. I imagine. Do, do, do. Here comes a finisher to Pal Musek. Oh! Horrible. The pile driver, wet boy though, predictably, is there. Oh, look at him. Choking out his friend. Choking out his pokey Hermanos. Yeah, Hermano, sorry. Oh, so weird. Really so weird in all his movements. Wet boy's the most damaged in this match so far. Bring those chairs in. Get those. Come on, let's get those chairs back in. Let's keep this rolling. Let's hurry this up. Right hands. Those fast, educated feet of Wet Boy. It's difficult to find an answer for it. The flapjack. Is that a flapjack? I think so. Billy Ray sends him down as well. It's very much become the Billy Ray show. Drops the elbow onto the spine of Pau Musek. Billy clumps out the ring. What's he getting now? One of the chairs, thank God. Doesn't get to use it though because Pau Musek breaks it up. Hooray! Now Pau Musek has a chair. And now Billy's in trouble, but he runs away. Both members of the Hermanos miss each other. No, not that time. This is Billy's time to shine. Billy could pin one of them right now and probably win. Uh-oh. Pal Musek back with a chair. Oh, Wet Boy comes steamrolling in with the chair. Absolutely vicious. No one, no one has yet made it onto the table. Don't know that anyone will. It is all, it's all just going kind of crazy in here. Pal Musek does have a finisher. This finisher takes so long to do. But by the time he does it, whoever it isn't being done on will be prepared to break up the pin, probably. Slammed down. Music sends him into the corner. Not quite, though. There's a chair in the way. Oh, my. Will this, will this ever end? Will it ever end? That's a great question. I don't know that it will, you know. Beautiful elbow drop. Into the leg drop. The chair is picked up. Wet Boy has the chair. He's hitting people with it. And here we go. One, five, one time again. Bam! How Musek salutes, for it is his Pueblo after all. And we know the Wet Boy's gonna break it up. Oh, he's missed! He didn't miss that time though. Damn it. Come on, guys. Comes another finisher. And again, Wet Boy just sort of st standing there with a table. Clobbers the walrus in the back of the head. There we go. Oh my goodness, someone's going to use it. Wet boy. No, we can't lift him. Counter by walrus. Drops the elbow. Takes out wet boy. Come on, guys. One of you can do this. One of you has got it in you. One of you can go all the way. Oh my goodness, that clothesline. Palmusek is now the most hurt member of this match. But it looks like Billy Ray Warris is about to receive a wet bomb slam. The sit out wet bomb into the cover. Ah, oh, Palmusek able to break it up. And he now has a go. Wet boy able to break it up. Come on, use some chairs. Really do some damage to each other. Okay, yeah, you were going to do that. You can do it. You can do it! I believe in you! Oh, brutal! 
Oh, DDT! And here comes the chair. Pamusek is really hurt now. <laughs> Wet boy desperately trying to land some chair shots. Excuse me, it's not going brilliantly for him. Here we go. Right, Pamusek is in serious trouble now. Billy Ray War is just lobbing a sledgehammer across the ring. As you do. Perfectly normal adult behaviour. Pamusek goes up top and gets down, then picks up the weapon, then drops it. Sits into a pinning combination, stacks him up, but Wet Boy again is there. Neither of these guys are hurt enough to stay out of commission long enough for a pin to happen. That's really what we need here. Here comes the Wet Bomb. Billy Ray Warris again just watching. He's waiting. If he climbs out the ring to get a weapon though, he could be too far away to break it up, but he is not. And so he breaks it up at one. Looking for another cover. Wet Boy glitching slightly. Oh, he's done it. Billy Ray Walrus glitched ever so slightly, giving Wet Boy the window he needed to secure the pin off the second pin attempt. And nobody gets any points. That's the nature of the poll, man. That's the nature of triple threats. Nobody backed Wet Boy in that one. You should have believed in Wet Boy. You should have believed in Wet Boy, and you didn't. You doubted him. I'm sorry, but this is what happens. You like Jazz? But very exciting matchup next. Former women's champion Jazz takes on the unstoppable Emma Jungle Skog. No one has been able to beat her so far. Could it finally be time? Could Jazz finally do it? Could she stop the bear? I don't think she can. And if you don't think she can, you better vote appropriately in the poll. Come on, Emma. Come on, Emma! Emma charges in. Oh, it looked like a glancing blow, but it was enough to drop Jazz. Jones. Pair lock up, and again, the power of Emma on display for the world to see. Goes to work on the knee. Of Jazz does Emma. Emma hoisting Jazz back to her feet, only to punch her a little bit more. Lock up, punch, lock up, counter from Jazz. Hits her with a forearms, several forearm strikes. Cannot lift the bear though, there is too much bear. Too much bear to be lifted. My hands from Emma send Jazz spilling to the outside, but she manages to crawl back in. Only to be lifted back up by Emma, who's already got a finisher. A, just a dominating performance from Emma so far, but Jazz still has plenty of time to get back in this thing. Emma slapping away. An attempted drop kick there, and here comes our first finisher of the match. It could be the only one. Because the former women's champion Jazz has had absolutely no part in this match whatsoever. Into the cover goes Emma. My God. That's it. That, that was unbelievable. How can you dispute the power of Emma Jungle Skog? Absolutely demolished Jazz. Good God. The prediction's just closing in time for the end of the match there. Wowee. Oh, look who it is. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at small Joe, and you can see that. Anyway, what are we doing? It's Devon Dudley for some reason with a manager. With, yeah, with Neil Buchanan, for some reason, in his sexy, sexy boots. I have decided that this will be the final triple jump match of tonight, because I'm really hungry and I need to go home and make dinner. So, on your feet and salute for the Queen for the last time this evening. Here she comes. The World Heavyweight Champion, Baybar Piss, 
with Triple H for some reason. Go give Baybar a follow at piss underscore Barbara on Twitter. Bring it home, Baybar. Bring it home. We already know Baybar's MO. She knows what she's got to do. A lot of dropping on heads. A lot of uh, locking in the submit to Baybar finishing move. Do, do, do. Oh. Come on, baby. Go, oh, baby. Right. In fact, I want to see what Triple H will do with you because I've never been friends with Triple H, so. There you go. There you go. There you go, Paul. Go have fun. Paul, just sort of watching so far. He's a good boy. He's not getting involved. Yeah, now he is. Watch Triple H do two moves and get his finisher before Barbara does. I'm sorry, I mean Baybar. Don't... I guess you'll have to bring snacks to next week's stream, eh, Ben? Yeah, or maybe just eat lunch. That'd probably be a good idea. Or breakfast. A meal. Eat a meal. That'd be good. Hey, it's a good thing there's no count out, huh? Is Triple H actually, like, in a submission right now? Because usually it automatically breaks those up if you're not the legal man in the match. Uh, excuse me? Devon? Um, I wasn't ready. Hey. 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 Stop the... Oh, you really made her mad. That's not good. That's not what you want to see. A pissed off bay bar. Don't you do it, Neil. Oh, Neil, I swear to God. You're such a dick, Neil. You say we, we want tables. Oh, for God's sake. Help me, Triple H. Help. Triple H, help me. I'm being bullied. This one's done it. Let's go for the El Clasico match finish, shall we? This one's done it. Get up. I said, get up. No, I didn't say, that's not what I'm going to do. Get in here. I said, get in here. Okay. <laughs> My friend Paul distracted you. Time for a jingle jam. And then you're going to make the sparkle splash look strong or I'm giving you back to Paul. Oh, oh no, he's, he's dead. Get up, bud. Get up, bud. Get up, bud. Here we go. Make the sparkle splash look strong. Make small wife proud. Make small wife proud. Big night for small wife. Good boy. That is what I'm talking about. Devon. Doodlay. Doodlay he who. Who can touch Barbara? Huh? Baybar. Who can touch Baybar? Not, not a one. Not our one can touch Baybar. Thank you very much. Devon continues to... What? He lo he's dead. Well, there is no referee here now. There is no one to stop this. There is no one to control the match. There is no law in the ring. Am I meant to believe Devon is a, is a, scary, is a scary guy? Is that... No, yeah? Okay, well... He got absolutely eaten up and, and spit out, so that... That doesn't make any sense at all. Right, ladies, gentlemen, others. Thank you so much for being here for this significantly longer than usual stream. It's been a long time since we've gone longer, hasn't it? Uh, probably not since I worked at home last year. So thank you for hanging out with me. We'll finish this off next week. That'll be the mission. The mission. Uh, we're going to do a raid now. 
Are cultaholics still live? Yeah, they are. Cultaholic. Clap, 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 clap. Remember, if you take part in the raid, you get free channel points that you can wager next week. Um, I don't know if we'll find a way to include yeah. predictions. Mr. Ben Potter, this was such a fun stream. Have a good night, my dude. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for the blips. I don't know if we'll find a way to include, um, what are they called? Uh, predictions in the Elden Ring streams. But uh, so next week, I want you all to go all out on your predictions, okay? The final match will come up with some absurd prediction. Some people will become very rich. Some people will become destitute. And that's that's just how we'll do it. Uh, Pachiti's doing Raid Shadow Legends. In which case, you know what? We'll go raid somewhere else. We'll go raid... Where Where is he? Ace Trainer Liam. He's playing Pokemon Legends. No one wants to watch Raid Shadow Legends, do, do they? Do you really? Ace Trainer Liam. There we are. Okay, we're going to hop over there instead. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Be prepared. Yes, they very much are a sponsor. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Go bid on the not NFT that's on eBay. We'll continue to talk about it throughout the week. It ends next Monday, I think. Um, and go and watch tonight's list as well. Go do that. Right. Look after yourselves, everybody. Have a good evening. And I will catch you all next time. Bye.